So we can go ahead with our recap. We fought a lady with rats. Mm -hmm. <laughs> yes, uh, so yeah, so uh, Finch came into the room first, saw a lady, and announced to everyone, "Hey, there's a lady with rats." And so we started fighting her, and I think it went on for a little bit, but then there was a fire incident with, um, oh gosh, why am, with Pavel. And so Pavel yelled from the back for everyone to retreat. And Finch followed that wisdom. He doesn't think very much. He just kind of acts. So he started fleeing with Pavel. But I think the other two stayed and fought. Uh, do you guys want to talk about your fighting and then what you found there as, um, as Pavel and Finch were kind of away from all of that? From uh, the e sorry, 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 I dropped off for a second. From we're still talking about the evil rat lady with the yep. Yep. gas zombies. Yeah, yeah. So we um we ended up defeating them um without exploding anything, which was which was great. Um, mm -hmm. we found on her a shiny flail, a spell book, and some evil notes. Um, we found out her name is Flemis, I believe, mm -hmm. and that um that she. Uh, she, she she gave us some good insights into um, some things that were happening, um, and we also found out that the material that she was working with was called corpse stamp. Um, I think um, I don't yeah. So I don't know if we got it right then, but eventually I did get some vials of corpse stamp. Um, we talked a little bit a bit from her notes. There was like some notes about the um, the angel Zariel and um and how the devils of vernus brought El um brought down el Terrell and uh, the grand duke um was claimed as a prize for hell so we talked about that a little bit um and in bargoth too a little bit sorry my no i'm trying to kind of paraphrase my notes and not read every single thing maybe that doesn't <laughs> work well but um but yeah so i i think after that, um, we started kind of walking around a little bit more. Eventually, we did talk to Nebula, and Nebula was telling us about how Vass stole a gift from Tiamat and had it under the bathhouse, and that Vass was a Nightblade, and that Tiamat needed that treasure, and it was a brown crown with fire spire, five spires, um, each like representing a chromatic dragon, and... Um, Vast must have been powerful to have stolen it, um, but someone stole it from. Well, I guess Vast stole it from a noble woman, um, and killed a bunch of people. And um, and we are kind of looking for it <laughs> while we are underground here. Mm -hmm. um, but eventually, we um, we took a short rest. Um, Pavel cast Identify on the Black Steel Razor. Um, but, and eventually kind of came back to the zombie room. Um, Pavel's kind of interested in the space, it's explosive gas and all of that, and, um, how it was being used to weaponize the zombies. Um, and we went, um, kind of after that, we kept going, and we went to the, um, the... Axe barbarian room. I'm not sure how else to explain <laughs> it, um, but uh, but we managed. To, we were very much figuring out that parts of this cavern are full of the explosive gas, and that um, for those of us that can't see in the dark, it's kind of a problem because um, our torches are setting the uh, the gas <laughs> alight, mm -hmm. and um, and that's causing parts of like the area to like collapse, and that's not great. Um, but. Um, but uh, yeah, so we eventually, so eventually we um, we kind of um, cleared out a lot of different areas and got to the altar with the black candles. Um, just uh, the black candles were just made from like dye, flower dyes. Um, but um, each candle had the name of one of the victims from above. Um, and um, we uh, we kind of are just like tying this as like evidence, I guess, that the murderers or the people that are murdering the victims are down here um 
We also found um, found some moonstones. We found a bag of beans, <laughs> and we mm-hmm. distributed those. That was fun. <laughs> um, and um, eventually, we kind of came into these rooms, um, and uh, Finch was talking about eating a zombie, and that led <laughs> to a good conversation. Oh, that's right. Um, yeah, about uh, about cannibalism. Uh, but he talked a little bit about his past and how he was part of an orc tribe before he came to the orphanage and things like that. So, um, But ultimately, I think we haven't cleared out this entire corridor by any means, um, but we're getting close. <laughs> and um, and yeah, that's kind of where we, we left off. I will say a very important lesson we've all learned is no flames. I, I can't mm-hmm. emphasize that enough, I think, based on our experiences. Though for the last room, we did use flames to our benefit as we smelled yes. it. Yes. We saw them yes. and we just tossed the torch in and everyone's yeah. as long as dead we're in there. Not now. in there. Yeah. yeah. That worked really well, yeah. You've learned to smell out the the stink of the corpse stamp gas. So, so you know when slowly but surely yes. you learn as a party. Mm-hmm. <laughs> Um, well, that, one, oh, go ahead. Oh, so that is a point. I think we can, we're getting good at, we can pretty much tell where the gas is based on the mm-hmm. rotten egg smell. So, mm-hmm. yep. so it's not like we've not expected it. Mm-hmm. Yep. Uh, and then one note from the candles, there was one name there, um, that you have not confirmed mm-hmm. before or heard about before. Was it Annika Silverleaf? Um, can't remember which one. one. I think we discussed it. Let's pull it up. It's on the chat. No, we uh, we heard Annika Silverleaf when we spoke to mm. the druid. I think it was Iolathe Oshrat. Oh, last one. Yeah, Iolathe Oshrat. Mm-hmm. Yeah, that one. Yeah. I think that's a pretty good recap. Anyone, anything anyone else wants to add? We got really weirdly fixated on the corpse stamp for, for quite a while. Mm-hmm. Oh, you got but, some black sludge and you got yeah. some well, corpse right. stamp. Yeah, and vials. Mm hmm. Did we talk about Clem's chest where he had mm. the carvings? Yeah, we did not. Um, he so... had, it was like, in the name of Bane, we offer adulation to Zeriel, blah, 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 blah. I just pasted it. I can put it in uh, Roll20 here. Yep. But it, there was like a lot carved in his chest. Oh, and I think we only noticed like <laughs> last session, but, <laughs> but uh, yeah. That's because I just re- discovered that one of you can speak uh, Infernal. So. Mm. Yeah. <laughs> like, oh, yeah, by the way, you, you can read this. <laughs> Zeriel's an Archduchess of Avernus. Yeah, I think that kind of helped kick off that conversation about Zeriel a little bit, too. Mm-hmm. Yeah, because Zeriel you're... led the, led the, the writers, the... Uh... Hellriders. Oh, I can't think of our names. Hellriders, yeah. Zeriel led the Hellriders <laughs> into Avernus. Mm-hmm. She was a beautiful angel. Okay. Do we know if she was an angel of or what domain she had or anything like that? Uh, make a history check for me. History, 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 history. We're dealing with that. Yes, Lathander. <clears throat> the Morning Lord. Okay. So, um, have, have we cleared this room that is open right now? Or yeah, we did we just, just explore? It. Yeah, we just finished that one. Yeah, um, this room uh, has all the dead zombies, um, and on the wall is an image of human cannibalism. Um, The sarcophagus was plundered long ago, um, and just a few bone fragments uh, remain. Uh, 
Okay, okay. room is clear. Should we go to the next room? Yep. Alright, does anyone have a torch activated right now, or are you all just sitting in the dark? I can see. So I think someone I has one. I don't know who has it. I think maybe Vin has it? Yeah, because not moving with yeah, Clint. Vin has it. So. Vin has it. Okay. okay. So we've cleared all the doors on the bottom here, right? But we have one more <laughs> door here, and then we have a door here that we haven't opened. Is that right? Mm -hmm. Yes. Yeah. I think so. So I'll back up away from the flames then. <laughs> Stench mm -hmm. will crack open the door and see what he finds. Okay, you go into that door. All right. Um, boop, boop, boop. Okay, in here, you see um, the walls and the floors of this room are covered in streaks and splashes of dried blood. Um, there's three dangling bodies shackled to the um, north, east, and south walls. One, the south wall has the elderly male human. Um, the east wall has a cultist that you gave to Mortlock. Um, and then the north wall has a female tiefling. Um, all three are covered in bloody gashes. None are moving. I immediately it... close the door. Oh, okay. Is, is it Xavius or is it the Nightblade? Xavius, the Despater See, cultist. Daddy, no! <laughs> oh, Xavius! <laughs> Spinch will immediately close the door and look to everyone because he doesn't recognize these folks. Mm -hmm. um, and he'll say, There are some dead people in there, and it looks like they were tortured very badly. They're, they're all dead? There was no one? I'm not sure. I didn't want to keep the door open. Any smell of rotten eggs? Did it smell like rotten eggs, DM? No, it did not. Okay, I say no. Well, should I, think... I go in? I think we should go in, right? Okay. And he'll open the door again and just waltz in. Okay. Uh, he'll he'll check the first body here for a sign okay. of life. Yeah, make check a medicine check. Medicine check. Natural one. I'm not <laughs> sure if his body is alive or dead. Hello there. Nice to meet you. You shake his head and it's just limp. <laughs> Does feel very cold though. Um, Camilla, uh, that's enough to tell that um, he is still breathing. Ah. Ooh, oh, okay, this one's still breathing. Wall. Yeah, I was going to say, you want to um, get out of the wall there? Yeah, I was... yeah. I don't know how I got through the wall, but I did. <laughs> I... Can I attempt to stabilize him? I don't think yeah. I have a healer skin. Yeah. Alright. Okay. Roll better. Roll better on medicine. <laughs> yeah. Oh, well, that's good. Alright, yeah. You you were able to, like, just grab some dirty cloths and wrap up any of his wounds. Um, And he is still breathing, though he's not conscious. I'm turning to the group and say... Didn't Zadius want us to give him to these? Like, why would why would they why would they do this? Who to is Zadius? Oh, this is Zadius. We 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 know this dude. <gasps> is he your friend? We should help him. Uh, uh, yes, he. He is. This wasn't this wasn't supposed to happen. Someone <sighs> needs to check the tiefling. I'll Lock. do it. I guess. Uh, I'll walk over <laughs> and I'll check the tiefling. Okay, medicine uh, check. Medicine, yeah. Mm -hmm. Uh huh. Mm -hmm. Thirteen. Yeah, that's enough. Um, she is also still breathing. Okay. Uh, Lim, come over here. Why? Okay. Uh, I this one's still breathing. <laughs> I don't know what to do with that. Uh, I'll come over to. I'll come over. Oh to no! Spin. I said Klim. 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 Oh, Klim. oh yeah. Oh, I'll walk that, up. That, that sounds very familiar. <laughs> sounds similar. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Klim, can yes. you tell if this person is alive? They're not responding to my salutations. -ons. Uh, yeah, I'll check. Uh, oh, oh Ephenex? Is that, is that you? This guy, oh, he worked for my family. Uh, oh my gosh. And he, he tries a medicine check. Um, yeah. Didn't know he would actually know him. <laughs> Uh, oh, he can tell pulse. that, um, oh no, there's no pulse. Oh, 
Beth and X. Oh, no. I'm, I'm so sorry. The name in chat? Yeah. I'm so sorry your friend is not alive anymore. Uh, I'll he's... pat Clem on the back. Yeah. He just kneels down in front of him and just kind of quietly sits there for a minute. Um, and then I will put, yes, put his name in chat. I'll uh, take a bottle of almond wine that I have and I'll uncork it a bit and I'll hold it out to Klim and say, if you would like to drink some and pour some out in honor of the dead. He uh, definitely just chugs it <laughs> like for no, a few no, seconds. No. I stop him. <laughs> I stop him from chugging it. Uh, it is okay. cooking wine. Just taste. It's a, a, oh, what's the word? Um, it's a last drink between old friends. Uh, okay. Yeah, uh, yeah. He'll he'll nod and just take a little sip, and you can tell he doesn't like it very much. <laughs> and then pours just a little bit out for F and X. Thank you, Finch. Very nice of you. Pat him on the back. Look towards everyone else. Well. What do we do with them? Do you have healing drinks for them? I'm out of healing magic. I'm not sure if I have a healing drink. I have one. I, I only have one. I think I probably would like to keep it for now. Shall um, I do my magic hands? Bench. Now that Vin has the light here in front of the tiefling girl, um, she looks kind of familiar to you. Sorry, was that to me? Yeah, to you. Yep. Okay. Now the I light's brought over, up. and she's so her face is really beat up, so you're not too familiar. You might have to get closer. Okay. I uh, hold out my hands in response to my originating question while I give a side <laughs> eye to the tiefling that I recognize. I mean, if you want to use your healing hands, I'm sure she'd appreciate it. Okay. Um, and I'll put, uh, so what Spinch does with his, uh, healing hands or, uh, his lay on <laughs> hands. So Dara taught him essentially like, you know, this is like your, these red beads are your connection. These wrist cords, I mean, are your connection. Mm -hmm. And, you know, as long as you foster your connection with ill matter, it'll be stronger. And she says, you know, one thing, a low level thing that you might be able to do now is to use your hands to heal. And it's like a force of magic goes through from the gods and um, just kind of imparts a bit more life in someone. But all Spinch heard was just kind of force hands. And so when he does this, he's only really done this maybe like once or something, but he just like shoves his hand into the person's chest and basically like does like a <laughs> clap. So it's not it's not gentle in any nature, but it does put in one point of hit point. <laughs> He'll tap um, both the uh, the guy in the middle, and then he will walk up to the tiefling that he seems okay. familiar, and do two points in total. One each. Okay, great. Um, they both breathe uh, deep gasps, um, and that blink open their eyes and just look in like dire pain. Um, but the tiefling girl looks up and Finch? Is, is that you? you? Uh, I, who are you? You might have known me as Beauville. I was in the Children of Mercy with you. Oh, you were... Beauville! Hello! How are you doing? Why are you here like this? They were questioning me. I work for a, a powerful family. And, oh, you're so big and strong. Are you here to save me? Is this one of the kids who tried to bully me, or is this someone who I saved, DM? It's just someone you would have saved. Um, okay. Yes, I will save you, good old friend. And I'll give her a hug, and I'll say, "Here you go. Here's another one." And I'll just bump Aww. her in the chest again. <laughs> oh. Give her another one. <laughs> you notice her facial features go um, back, and you you definitely recognize her now. As like the swelling has subsided from her face, um, as um, oh, now I see your face and recognize it. 
Um, oh, oh, by the gods. So awful here. All I wanted it's to okay. do. We're here now. These are my new friends. Hello, new Hello. friends. These are, this is my old friend. Can you Hello. take me? My name is Bovil. Can you take me to the Devil's Den? They'll take care of me there. Okay. Is that in hell? Oh, well, some would call it that. No, it's in the dark part of the city. Oh, that house that people say they go and sleep there. <laughs> yeah, yeah, they sleep there. You're so sweet, Spench. I don't understand why people go to a different place to go and sleep. It's, we're there and we're very nice. Yes, you are, and he'll hug her. <laughs> she'll hug you back. Can you get these? Well, she kind of, she's, she is shackled, so she'll go to huggle you. And she's like, can you get these off so I can give you a proper I'll hug? i try my best to do so. Uh, what role will that be? Uh, try an athletics check to rip him off the wall. Okay, I'll try. Uh, you tug on it, and it's just, uh, a little dust comes off the wall, but it doesn't break. Oh, no. Help, um, friends, and I'll look towards everyone else. The guy with the big old helmet, he had the keys. Uh, Clem speaks up. The the guy you saved me from. Did you keep the keys? Of course we kept the keys. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Yeah, someone, someone checked their inventory. Someone has a key, right? <laughs> Sure. Finch has no idea what's going on. I have a key, but not that key. <laughs> you had a key from I, someone's hair. Yeah, yeah, I definitely don't have I, the key. I think it's I think it's for her spell book, probably. Mm -hmm. All right, hang on a second. I'm gonna go run back to the dead <laughs> corpse and get a key. <laughs> I'm gonna try. Can you I don't use... have to move it. <laughs> it's fine. Can I use my hand axe to try and cut it? Yeah, you can give it a shot. Uh, make an attack roll. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Oh no. Oh no. Uh, <laughs> it glances so off and then like hits the wall. <laughs> yeah. But it definitely like shakes her arm and she's like, huh. Ah, it's okay. It me. I'm so it, sorry. Okay. I just want to get you out. I'm so oh, nervous. It's all right, dear. It'll be okay. Can someone else try and hit this, please? Silence. <laughs> I'm 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 thinking that you guys hit too, but clearly in different ways. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Really, to get Pavel a lot thick. Mm -hmm. Yeah, <laughs> I've, had that, I've had that in my notes like for like four <laughs> sessions now. I think the little know, one's gonna I... come back, Spinch. It'll be okay. Yeah. Can I, like, can I, it's not a whole thieves tools, but can I, uh, use my minor conjuration to make, like, just a lockpick and try to get through this with maybe disadvantage or a harder DC? Yeah, do disadvantage. Um, okay. keep the DC. Alright, is it just a dexterity check? Mm-hmm, yeah. Okay. No, unfortunately. Um, you, you, I mean, you're fiddling it for about a good five minutes, and then Timila comes back. <laughs> Thank you for trying, Pavu. I got a key. <laughs> Yay, Timila! I will. I will undo her. Her. Uh... Uh, she looks very grateful to you. Thank you. Oh. Thank you all. Thank you, Let's get out of here. Old friend. Well, Xavius is being very quiet. Yeah, you just, Xavius just is just eyeing you all scared. <laughs> <laughs> he looks very, uh, he looks surprisingly scared when normally he was pretty straight faced. Um, right now. Xavius, didn't, didn't you want to, us to take you to this particular group? Like, wh why are you chained to a wall? They serve Gargos. I had okay. no idea they should serve this. Why are they serving Gargoth? He is useless. He is trapped. They would not listen. Not 
wait, not Bane? Right. This is what Volus said, is that the, 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 the demons were masquerading as gods? Do they know that they serve Gargoth? Some do. They kind of do. Something got mentioned about Gargoth. Gargoth yeah. and Zeriel and Bane. Mm -hmm. The leaders did. They know that they served Gargoth, but also for the it aligned with their gods, so they were okay with it. They would not listen to my treatise to tell them that they should worship Bay as should worship Dis Gargoth. And so they were going to kill me. And now you will kill me. Yeah. I don't think we'll yeah. be killing you. Is that what you want? Are you saying you will kill us as like we will kill you as a request or do you think that's just what's going to happen? I think that's just what's going to happen. Okay. Well, I mean, I don't think anyone here wants to kill you, but I don't know what to do with you. I mean, he's maybe if you our... hadn't run off, you know, that, that one time, girl? Could she would have killed me. <laughs> yeah, right. My I friend believe... Bovil would not kill you. <laughs> no, the. But... The light-skinned one, Eudora. Finch kind of looks like he's squinting. Oh, you mean Blanca. Blanca would not kill you. <laughs> You'd be surprised at the terrible things Blanca can do. Finch has some turmoil in this. <laughs> um, I think you are lying to me. Then you should kill me. I would not like to kill you. Weak. Yes? Okay. <laughs> okay, I don't remember you being this loud and obnoxious. You told me to talk, so here I am. <sighs> what have I got to lose now? Z, if we don't kill you, like, what will you do? Like, what do you want out of all this? I will leave this place and form a new place with full of followers of Dis, and we will serve Dis. And you'll summon more demons and kill more people, right? Is that, yes. is that what's serving? Okay, yeah, well that's a problem. Maybe there's like a rehabilitation place for him that, <laughs> you know, doesn't involve bloody walls. Do you want to talk to Nebula? Who is Nebula? Nebula can talk some sense to him. <laughs> you, you want you want him to defect to Tiamat? Is that, is that the goal here? <laughs> yeah, maybe. <laughs> that may be better. Can't be worse. <laughs> yeah, that's true. Uh, Spinch, um, Bovo says, well, I changed my name. I'm Vendetta now. Isn't that a cool name? Vendetta. <laughs> Very nice. I work at the Devil's Den at night, and, and during the day I serve this noble family. I serve them wine. And it makes good coin. I hope you are doing well. I am also working. I am working as a chef. Although, uh, not right now. Right now is my off day. Yes, same here. I would love to try some of your cooking sometime. I've gotten much better. Oh, that's exciting. Alright, let's go. Let's get out of here. There's lots of bad guys there. To the north and to the east. I wouldn't go that way. Yeah, I think... Sounds like we need to go that way. <laughs> Unfortunately. No. Oh. Okay. Well, at least he looks I... strong. He no, is not really. Oh no, <laughs> he, he is modest. I am. I am quite, quite skilled in other ways, but not really strength. Um. Oh, what other ways? Oh no, not those ways either. <laughs> <laughs> oh, okay. Sorry. 
can I get Xavius um, detached from the wall, but still in manacles? Like, maybe like, switch around <laughs> the manacles, do a little thing? Um, the way that it works, it's a chain that goes into the wall that is, like, to the wrist. So it's not, like, normal manacles. I think you did have manacles, but you didn't keep the key or something. Yeah, well, Eudora I... had the only key to our manacles, but I don't know where our manacles are. Oh, no, you took... <laughs> You have the keys, but the manacles okay. will stayed on to the prisoners mm. that Mortlock. Uh, yeah, that's right. I look, I look around for, uh, you know, when Mortlock brought him down here handcuffed, maybe he left the manacles on the floor. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> uh, you see a chair with a bloodied whip on it and a bucket of salt. Oh, that hurts. Um, mm -hmm. Oof. I know you help, you help help make a decision about Xavius. Like I am in favor of killing Xavius. Neville, why would you want to kill him? Not a very good person, Spinch. I, mean, no, I know he's he's he really is not. Has he done better? I don't, I don't feel like things? killing him though. I really want to, like, take him to, like, a proper dungeon, you know, with the city guards. We can turn him in. I know a few soldiers who can lock him up in jail. Ooh, Ooh hang okay. on, hang on, hang on. Uh, I, 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 I bring everybody out of the room a little bit to have this conversation. <laughs> uh, what if we just promise Xavius, like, if he testifies to who, who did this, he can, you know, he can get killed. He can he can end his life or whatever. I don't think he wants to be killed. I think he wants to leave. Oh, He's just I, really pessimistic. I I, oh, okay. I rather like him. He's very logical and he's 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 planning us out and he's not really being deceptive mostly, I don't think, about what his goals are and what he wants to do. And he has drawn the conclusion based on you know weeks of travel with us that what he wants to do is something that we should kill him for and that we can't really contain him if we don't kill him and i kind of agree i don't think we can drag him along with us forever maybe we can take him to the the city watch and they can put him in a cell for the rest of his life but is that how about we leave him here and then when we go outside up, 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 and he'll just kind of go, like, and tilt his head up. <laughs> and then we mm -hmm. can tell the people that he is down here, and the guards can retrieve him. That shit doesn't sound bad at all. No, I like that. Spinch is beaming. <laughs> he doesn't really come up with great ideas, so he's so happy. Mm -hmm. Do you all like my idea? You do like it, Spinch. <gasps> mm -hmm. Yay! <laughs> Okay. Go back in the room. We're gonna tell Zadius. <laughs> Alright, here's what's happening. Uh, the hard truth. <laughs> hard <laughs> truth, yeah. Hard truth. This, this is what we decided to do. I see. So you're still weak. Let someone else yep. do your will. Mm -hmm. Yep. Oh, for sure. Yep. <clears throat> I'm not sure if you understand the definition of weak. Uh, Mr. <laughs> we could Zavius. talk to Gargoth. He is useless. What? Foolis showed me how to talk to Gargoth. I'd need it. Sacrifice. Okay, okay Pavel. I'm not gonna sacrifice Ooh. anyone. <laughs> I, I just, I just what? laying it out as an option. I don't... Wait, what? Okay, I mean... Good, good to know our options. Good to know our options. Mm -hmm. Do we actually want to talk to Gargoth at this point? Like, what would we say to him? I mean, there, there's, there's a lot going on. Mm -hmm. And, like, what's going on with him and Zeriel? What's the relationship? Um, he probably doesn't have anything good to tell us. If we can find out what he wants, then we might have 
leverage. I guess he wants to kill you two, I say to the Hellriders. Yeah. Let's maybe not this point. say that. I mean, like, kind of like side-eyed Clem and uh, Vendetta and be like, I don't know you two yet, so <laughs> that's probably not good to say out loud. But, um... Okay, I don't... I don't think we're there yet. I mean, I, I recognize this is a unique opportunity where if we're gonna kill someone, it might as well be him, but I don't think we're there yet. <laughs> and I would no, be more in I favor think, of I, not murdering think... him. Realistically, if we continue down this path, we're likely going to find many other people who are much worse and less willing to die. Uh, mm -hmm. Who are, are going to be great for that exact scenario. Yeah. Yeah. You okay with that, Pavel? Yeah. Um, I'm just gonna... Just, I'm just gonna keep that idea floating around. I don't know what to do with it yet. Sure. Okay. Okay. Uh, Clem speaks up, and we'll tell them to get my friend here. Give him yes, burial. Yes, of course, Clem. Yeah. 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 You'll see Vendetta takes a moment to speak with him about how um, they should able to settle together and how... Um, he didn't give up anything about the Jassos and stuff like that. Did she say specifically which family she worked for when she was talking to Spinch? Yeah, let me pull, put that in chat for you because it's a weird word. Um... You was question about um, the Oathuns and their security arrangements. Interesting. And I they're... definitely would relate that to the party. Do any of us recognize the Oathuns? Uh, yeah, everyone from Baldur's Gate, so everyone but Vin can try a history check. Uh, Pavel and Spinch, you recognize that they are very wealthy because they are the primary source of wine in Baldur's Gate. They make very tasty wine. Mm. <clears throat> Maybe they're plotting to assassinate one of the nobles for some reason. Do they have Maybe. a wine garden slash growing area in Baldur's Gate? It's not a very good place for that sort of thing, so it's mostly just like distributions and warehouses and stuff in Baldur's Gate. Um, and then import it from like the coast and then they mm -hmm. distribute. Yep. Gotcha. Because uh, this is a big trade city. Um. Mm -hmm. They make really tasty wine from far away and they give it to people. Mm -hmm. I heard that my. Uh, Restaurant owner got a very nice bottle that he uses for fancy customers. Hmm. Okay. That's something, I guess. Mm -hmm. Okay. Do we want to continue this path or do we want to go back to the door over there? There is a door um, to the north, um, and then there is a door that you didn't open in the hallway. Ovil, do you know anything about what's in the next room? I've heard footsteps and splashing noises. Oh, maybe we shouldn't go to the footsteps, friends. 
I'm going to check back in the other corridor, see if that's something. Did he start there? Yeah. Yeah, it's right there. I'm going to head towards the door. All yeah, right. I'll, I'll follow. Anyone like, coming? <laughs> at a, at a, at a we'll distance, we'll mostly just because of fire still. So. Okay. <laughs> I'll stay with we'll Clem. Go. Stay with Clem and stay with Vin. He will protect you. Okay. Where are you staying, Vin? Uh, I'll staying just stay, there? like, back. Yeah, I'll stay back in this room and just look down this okay. hallway, if that's so okay. They'll, they'll just, just kind of look around just you. because I... Mm -hmm. <clears throat> I'll ask if Spinch wants to... I think Spinch wanted to kind of be in front. Is that is that is yes, that true or I not? will protect you, Spinch. I mean, I will protect you, but I'm a little... <laughs> <laughs> I open the door. <laughs> you open the door... And it's a destroyed room. This rubble. I close the room. That is <laughs> not closure. a room. <laughs> Good to have closure about these things. <laughs> okay. Everything Good is safe. Know, I guess. Yay. So we can leave? We're going to go this Ooh, way, I think. Not quite. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> but just make sure you stay in the back and be safe. Okay. I'll Do open this door. Were you going to say something, Timela? Uh, I was going to say, maybe at some point, I uh, just might say to, uh, is it Vendetta? Um, yeah, you know, there's pockets mm -hmm. of explosive gas, so, you know, if you do find yourself, you know, us all dead, you running through these mm -hmm. tunnels, maybe, you know, don't, don't light a torch if you smell rotten eggs. Oh, I can see in the dark. But thank oh, you. Nice. Okay. Oh, must be nice. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, so you just don't light a torch at all. That's all. That's that's because yeah, that that'll be the plan. That's it's also sneakier that way. You also probably don't have a lot of belongings on you right now, do you? You probably don't have torches or anything like that. No, they took everything. Yeah, that will. Yeah, but you're here. Do you need like so... a knife or something? Like, Ooh. Do you need something to? Yeah. In case. Yeah. I don't have a knife. I shouldn't have offered anything. I don't have anything. I have, oh. I have darts. Okay. I'll one of my hand axes. Okay. Okay. I can work with this. That's, that's good. He takes it. So DM, this is a corridor I'm seeing. Yes, you see a corridor, uh, it's a steps that lead down to a watery area. Um, the map doesn't actually, they forgot to put the water in the area. Um, and then you see a fist of Bane, um, a Bane cultist. So give me one second, because we're going to have to I will get... try and, can I try and step back? Like, <laughs> um, you weren't stealthing initially. I was not. No. <laughs> so, we're so gonna, they definitely see me. They definitely saw you. Yeah. Oh, okay. Um. You know, you see their eyes go wide. Um. And uh, they look very shocked. Um. When they see you approach. Um. So yes, everyone, please roll initiative. Wow. Not much better. Don't mean natural ones this session. Get him out before the battle. Yeah. <laughs> Rather have that one in initiative than in a, in a shot. All right. I think that's everyone. I'm going to let Klim and Vendetta go on the same round. Um, okay. So, uh, Vin. Ah! Uh, yeah. You, 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 Spinch just kind of. <laughs> yeah. Oh, okay. Uh, uh, before I go in there, can I just mm -hmm. yell out? Uh, does it smell like. The gas, or am I good? Does it smell oh, like gas? Oh, um, let me double check. No, you don't smell gas in this area. No! Oh! Uh, five? Oop, hang on. 12, 20, 10. 20. 25 to get to there, and then what do I see? Oh, I see a lovely Dane Colsus. Yay! Mm -hmm. uh, I'll do 30. Uh, and I will just one hand, because I have a torch in the other, uh, mm -hmm. core staff with one hand, swing at the cultist, and okay. then an unarmed strike as well. 18? Yes, that hits. Nice. Okay, and then the 14. That misses. Yeah. Okay. Uh, so just, just, eight. just one That's quick quarter staff. Yeah. 
Yeah. Good hit. Okay. Uh, and then I will, I guess, just stay there for the time being. So that's mm -hmm. movement bonus action. Action. Nice. Okay. Pavel. Mm -hmm. Well, suddenly in the dark, I'm going <laughs> to rush off into the light. That's 5, 10, 15, 20, 25, and then I can stop here at 30. There you go. Ah, uh, and I I can... Uh, uh, you what they're uh, talking about. <laughs> yeah, that, that was, there's the uh, Toll the Dead. There it is. There's the button. There it is. <laughs> <laughs> but at 12, yeah. I should pay attention to that. <laughs> Okay. Uh, he's got a roll. I forget, is that wisdom or charisma? Wisdom. Thank you. Okay, he got... Oh, he got a 20. Well. Oh. Sorry, dude. Good for him. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Uh, and then it's his turn. Um, so he is going to use his action to disengage. Um, you do notice he's carrying a torch. Um, so he's going to start traveling. Okay. Um, and since he uses his action to disengage, uh, note this blue area. It's squiggly blue, but it is um, difficult terrain. Difficult. Okay. Yep. Um, and he's going to start yelling, Intruders! Oh, no. <laughs> oh, I should have just tried to just try. To, I don't think I could have taken him out in one round, but man, mm -hmm. that been nice. <laughs> Magic missile was available. <laughs> okay. Uh, Vendetta and Clem are just gonna move. Well, Clem's mostly just gonna move up so he can be closer to the light, and Vendetta's just gonna keep an eye on Clem. All right, Spinch. I'm going to yell, just kidding! <laughs> <laughs> uh, make a deception check. <laughs> oh, sure, okay. Here, I move. <laughs> okay. Uh, Alright, so let's, let's see. I have 30 total. I can get to here. And I can attack him because he's at a corner. Yeah, mm -hmm. we'll give him um, plus uh, one for his AC though. Okay, sounds good. I will try and come at him with one of my butcher's knives and swing fifteen. Nope. All right. Um, I'll try and. Oh no no no! Sorry. That's oh wow. Oh. Uh, that wasn't. Yeah, I know. Well, we could still use. The roll just oh, you don't get it. Yeah. It's yeah. Just the damage. Yeah, the damage yes. is different. So yeah, we'll use the twenty. Give you that Fantastic. twenty. Just roll the offhand you. damage. Yes. So the offhand damage is five piercing, but I do have Plus it should feature. be doubled, right? <clears throat> yes. Doubled. And I also have a feature savage attack where nice. when I score a critical hit, I can roll again, which I believe this is a D six. I'll roll a D six. So that's plus three. So 13. Yeah, you stab him. Um, really great area um, right in his lungs. And you hear him like now is like the blood is fiddling in his lungs. Like, don't talk anymore. <laughs> yeah. He's he's not looking good. Great. Um, I. Oh, yeah. Sorry, you have more. I, okay. Uh, I don't think I have anything. I just okay. uh, I just keep my uh, uh, butcher's knife out. Great. Okay. All right. Then ten Milla. It's five. Okay. I am going to fire a arrow at him. Mm -hmm. Wow. All right. Yeah. Okay. Uh, that go. goes um directly into his other lung. We'll say, and he is uh down in the water face down as he is dead are we uh, let's see, this five, two, out of initiative still or no nope I, I, yeah, I was about to say I think it's still kind of like <laughs> I'm gonna move up to here um 
And I think I'm going to end my turn there. That's all for my turn. Alright, cool. Back up to Vin. Okay. Uh, <laughs> well, let's see. So it's 10, I think it's 15, 25, 30, 35 will get me to there. Oh, you know what? I have one more. 40. So I will move to here. And seeing no one else, I'm just going to hold my action to mm -hmm. uh, hit anybody that comes close to me. Okay. Pavel. Great. Uh, I'm going to 5, 10, 15, 20. I think I can't go any further than that. So with my, unless I dash. And uh, mm -hmm. I think I would rather um, just pull out my own torches. <laughs> Mm -hmm. Light it up with my action, if that's okay. Yeah. Go for it. Okay. Yep. I'm doing that. Okay. Um, Vin, you see a door open up. And you see another cultist. Um, oh, shit! There's really intruders! <laughs> <laughs> and uh, he'll... Uh... <laughs> He'll continue moving up to you and attack okay, you with his uh, mace. Gets... Yes, go ahead. So I'll I'll make an attack as well against yep. him. Oh, hang on, I'm clicking the wrong thing. Uh, I'm guessing the eleven will miss though. So yeah, that'll miss. Uh, I think I'm just, uh, the I'm eighteen busy, hits though. I'm too busy to wait. The eighteen? Or is that? I would only get one attack. Oh, would be I out. see. I got you. Got you. Yeah. Uh, All right. I so I don't know where the 18 came from, but uh, yeah. it's not on my okay. side right now. So uh, oh, okay. no damage for that. Gotcha. Uh, All right. I think I'm just too busy waving. Yeah. <laughs> uh, and then um, he only rolled a seven, um, but you do see others start to move up. This one's going to try and attack at you, but we're going to give you plus two to your AC. Um, but he got a 23, um, so that's nine bludgeoning. Oh, yeah, that would hit. Yeah. Oh, nine. Okay. All right, with a right. mace as he is, uh, hits you right in the kneecap. Um, another mm -hmm. one comes up. Um, they're going to try a longbow attack again, giving you a little bit of cover there. Okay. Um, you don't have to give them cover for that. Well, they oh, got I two guess, people. Like, yes, yeah. <laughs> I, I just realized I also, I was like, oh no, I'm cool. I can just catch it. And then I'm like, nope, I already used my reaction. Can't do oh. that. <laughs> um, all right. Yeah. He uh, got a 20 on his longbow attack. Yeah. That's going to hit. Uh, not a crit, a uh, dirty 20. So, oh, let me see here. One damage. <laughs> nice. Oh, okay. Uh, all right. <laughs> <laughs> uh, and then this guy's just gonna move up. Um, he's gonna try longbow as well. Okay. Uh, another dirty twenty, um, but this time for five damage. Okay, I'm still up, but I look pretty bad right now. Bad. Oh no! <laughs> All right. Um, the two um, beat up prisoners. Uh, you see Pavel. You see following behind you. Uh, I do not have my. Uh... Like, oh, yeah. Let me get you out. Sorry. Here we go. Should be able to see them. Yep. Okay, cool. All right, and then Spinch. I'm assuming I hear the fighting, right? Yes. Okay, great. Uh, we'll yeah, and you heard that. Oh, shit. <laughs> <laughs> I will squeeze through Vin to get to here. And I will try and attack. I'll swing my butcher's knife. Nope. nope. Um, I'll try and stab, but it just goes underneath the armpit. And I'll try again, but I uh, I guess I get the other armpit. <laughs> <laughs> and I get air. Uh, uh, unfortunately. Say, I'll be frustrated <laughs> and spinch it this turn. Mm hmm yeah, you'll notice these guys are wearing chainmail and have a shield, so they're they're pretty difficult to land a blow on. <clears throat> uh, Tamila. 
Mill is going to shoot with her longbow again. 17. Uh, he deflects it with his shield. Oh, shit. All okay. right. <laughs> She's going to end her turn there. All right. Then. All right. Uh, I do not look great. Uh, so I'm going to, as a bonus action, drink a health potion. Uh, so that's what two d four? Because it's just a normal yes, two d four plus two. Mm -hmm. Oh, coming through. Yep. Oh, there, oh, there it is. Error. Six. Right. Okay, so that gives me a little bit more health. Um, and then I, um, because there's no water here really, so I'm gonna drop my right. torch. Uh, okay. and I'll just double. Double hand the quarter staff now. Okay. And do an attack against the one in front of me. Uh, 19? Yes. Yes. That hits. Okay. So, so ten blood. Ten. Damage. Nice. Uh, yeah. And that will be my turn. Good turn. Hey, Pavel's up. Can't hear you, Pavel. If you're talking. Oh, sorry. Yep. That's all right. <laughs> uh, so I think it's 15 feet to there. So I can mm -hmm. see everything I need to. Look at all these. Look at all these people. Oh, yeah, look at that gosh. big group look of people. people. <laughs> um, hold on. I don't think I have anything that's. Yeah. Okay. Uh, nope. Uh, yeah, I'm just gonna. <laughs> the one that uh, I'm guessing Vin hit just now, I'm going mm -hmm. to uh, toll dead on them. Nice. Okay. They got a six. Button. Here we go. Yay. Okay. Two damage. <laughs> Two. <laughs> and that's with the they already have damage taken. Yes, that should be. Yeah, that's a d twelve. Okay. Mm -hmm. All right. Uh, any bonus action? Uh, nope. I'm okay. just gonna hang out where I am. I'm good. All right. Um, so the wounded one's gonna see the group behind him, uh, and, uh, he's going to disengage and move back here and pull out his longbow for the next action. Um, and then this one's gonna move up, and this one's gonna move up. So this one is gonna attack on Spinch. Mm -hmm. For 12. That's a miss. This one's going to attack on Vin for a 10. <laughs> uh, this one's going to move up in longbow towards Vin for a 6. Oh okay. my goodness. All nope. right. <laughs> uh, they are just look, scrambling. Look the yeah, they look very uh, surprised and just like a little shaking, um, but they're still trying. Clem and Vendetta move up. Finch. Very frustrated. He'll go ahead and try and uh, swipe away again. Oh, oh yeah, that hits. So uh, this time he will take his butcher's knife and he'll cleave right between uh, the neck area. He'll try and nice. get underneath the chain mail and he'll take a swipe there. Mm -hmm. He'll do this offhand, but he Aww. gets the chain mail. So it kind of bounces off. Yeah. And he will stay where he is. Nice. That ends this turn. Pamela. She's in. <clears throat> Try to hit it with a longbow. All right, right, that hits. Yeah. <laughs> One right in front of Ben. Yeah, okay. Uh, five. That's all... Nice. That's all she has. Hey. The... We just have good to hit, though. Mm -hmm. Vin. Back to you. All right. Uh... I am, I'm gonna spend a key point to flurry of blows. So, one quarter staff attack. Mm hmm. That's. Oh, actually, okay. that knocks them out if you're welcome to add flare if you like. But... Yeah, I think, I think with that, I think as the. Uh, I'll, I'll add a little flare with the arrow. Um, so, I think mm -hmm. the arrow, like, hits him, like, in the armor and, like, digs into the chest. Uh, and then just with, like, a kind of a precision strike with the quarter staff, I just pound the arrow in a little bit further and, nice. uh, and it, they just fall down dead. Uh, Very cool. And I will take 
I will gladly take some temporary hit points from that. Yeah. Um, <laughs> and then uh, I'm not going to step up, I don't think. Okay. Or should I step up? It's up to you. No, I'm not going to step up, but I will make um, two additional attacks on the one down here. Uh, okay. So I'll have a little extra AC. But Yeah. Um, one and two. Oh, neither one would have uh, hit, even with nope. it, so. Sorry. <laughs> that's a shame. Nah, you know, it is what it is. Uh, mm -hmm. But I will stay there, and I will end my turn. Okay. All right, Pavel. Uh, I can just barely see the one here and the one here, I think. I can see their mm -hmm. tokens. So yeah. I am going to uh, acid splash them. I don't think they've nice. taken damage yet. No, they have not. Dex save, Okay. Uh, first one got a 16, and then the second one got a 14. Um, and how does that acid splash that? work again? How many yeah, can they, I hit? Because uh, there's another one no back damage. here. Uh, no, okay. it can only target two, and I, oh, I need see. to see them, so I can't, I can't gotcha. see them way back there. Yeah. Oh, sorry. All right, cool. <laughs> Ah, uh, sorry, dude. All right, so um, this one's gonna move up where the dead one is. <laughs> um, gonna attack Spinch. Mm -hmm. uh, Twenty. That hits. Eight bludgeoning. Ooh. Um, this one's going to attack Vin for twenty-one. That hits. For six bludgeoning. This one's that gonna sidestep. Nice sidestep and try and longbow Vin. Rolls a one because <laughs> um, the oh. string uh, snaps on his longbow, um, and uh, he uh, grabs the longbow off of his friend's back. <laughs> All right, um, these two are um, just gonna wait there. Spinch. Oh my! Oh my! Uh, Spinch will go ahead and try and strike again with his short sword. No, and then offhand? Yeah, 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 okay. Offhand, yeah. offhand is pretty good. So I think, um, he'll try again for, like, that clean neck blow that he originally got good blood on, mm -hmm. um, but he didn't quite make it, and then this second time, he just goes straight for, like, a head wound, and he'll chop into the head a little bit. He'll, like, graze the top of the head, piercing three. And I right. think he'll say, um, as he's kind of now getting acclimated, um, he'll say, We were just joking. We're actually friends. <laughs> Very unpersuasively. <laughs> yeah. That ends his turn. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Samilla. She's going to fire a longbow. 18. Yep, that hits. Great damage. Yeah. Well, I'm mm. checking the closest one. All right, cool. Nice. Okay. Uh, back to Vin. Back to Vin. Uh, back to attacking. Uh, quarter staff and mm -hmm. then unarmed. Yeah. Nope. Oh no. <laughs> Vin's getting yeah. real tired. <laughs> yeah. Okay. Sorry, Pavel. Yeah, I'm gonna go for another acid splash on the one okay. here. And the person that just walked up, because I think they may be the one that got the beating really bad before. Mm -hmm. Yeah. So I'm just, I'm just gonna, I'm just gonna be greedy. I'm gonna go for the double. All right, let's do it. Okay. So two deck saves. Okay. Come on it. Wow. What is their decks? It's a plus zero, but they're rolling well. Um, two sixteens. Mm hmm. I figured it would work on something in chain armor, but I guess not. But... <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> they're just yes, really they're nimble for some reason. Yeah. yeah. And they're on edge. Yeah. <laughs> uh, all right. So they they're going to attack. To <laughs> uh, one on Spinch, an eight. One on Vin. Ooh, a nat 20. Uh, 10 damage. Oh, Vin. I'm down then. Oh no. 
a longbow. He's going to move back over here and try and longbow spinch. Eight, so he misses. Yes. Okay. Um, these two are staying here. Spinch. Uh, spinch, seeing in the corner of his eye, his friend go down, will reach over and thump his chest really hard <laughs> with a lay on hands. Um, he'll say, nope! And then he'll just thump. <laughs> you get one hit point. <laughs> one hit uh, point? Yep. <laughs> one lay on Great. hands. All right. There you go. You, That's you, you feel your chest mm -hmm. is a little sore. <laughs> Uh, he, he's I, not very gentle Vin, with Vin these. assumes it's because of the mace that he took recently. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> great, great. His unarmored um, body, yes, that's yeah. probably it. <laughs> and uh, I think that's all I can do for this turn, so that ends okay. my turn. Uh, he'll give a mean look to the the one that shot Vin down. Okay, yeah. Hmm. Glare. Tamilla. I try to shoot him. All right. Oh, yeah. Nice. Oh, that's enough if you want to add any flair to knock that one out. Um, as as Vin falls and, like, just, like, seeing him going down, um, just a angry arrow. That's the description. Angry <laughs> An angry arrow soars through the air, <laughs> gets him right in the eye and knocks him down. Now there's two bodies laying there. I moved one of the tokens to the side just to have less confusion, but mm -hmm. it is two bodies in that square. All right, Vin, you are prone, but you are alive. I'll, or conscious. I'll stand up. I'll stand mm -hmm. up, and I'll get uh, uh, not wanting to move in Spinch's way. I'm just gonna attack the one down below. Okay. One of those, and we'll do one of those. Fine. Ooh, there we nice. Go. Ooh, revenge attack. Uh, so mm -hmm. just the, just the seven seven damage to the. Yeah, that's to still a pretty good hit. Yeah. Mm -hmm. All right, Pavel. All right, toll the dead. Okay. All the saves. Uh, find the button. Yep. Yeah, it's wisdom, wisdom. <laughs> oh, I got a three. Okay, then that's going to heal damage. Wow. Oh, nice. Relax, right? <laughs> yeah, that's <good. laughs> Nice. Um, yeah, that really messed him up. Um, he's just sitting there, like, rattling his head, like, very, um, a little it, it, nosebleed. It, it, I can. I think <laughs> yeah. I, I've started to figure this out. Yeah. Um, so there's the sound of this, this bell that rings in the, in the hallway. And in the place where, like, Vin just fucking decked this guy with his unarmed strike, he's, like, started to bruise over immediately. And that bruise turns black. Uh, it just turns Ooh. so bad and black, and there's you know just black liquor, liquor and liquid begins to, to 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 seep out of it as this this bell tolls. Oh, I love it! Yes, thank you. Hey, okay. um, and it's his turn, um, so he's going to try um, a mace attack. Got a seventeen on Vin. Uh. Okay. I would have what plus two AC because of the wall still. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Uh, so then that would not hit me. There you go. Um, and this one's going to try a longbow on Spinch. I uh, got a thirteen. That's a miss. All right. They are also getting very tired now. Both wounded, both tired. Uh, they're staying there. Spinch. Great. I'll take a step up and I'll say, uh, "Please stop hurting my friends and me." And I'll go ahead and just try an attack. <laughs> hey, that hits. Short sword. Five. Hey, that's for enough. Offhand. Yeah. Right? I think for this, um, Spinch is really, you know, he's trying different moves to see where he can pierce through. I think this time he just goes for the eyes because they need to see out of all of their uh, equipment. And so he'll just go straight in and pierce. And it just goes straight into the brains. Amazing, yes. Yeah, I think as he pulls his uh, butcher's knife out, he'll mm -hmm. get some remnant brain and he'll just slick it against the wall and say, Oh, that looks like pig. <laughs> and uh, I think that will end his turn. Uh, oh, actually, he might point his knife, his butcher's knife, to the remaining and he'll just say, Please stop. <laughs> Make a yes. intimidation check. I know you're being nice, okay. but that was very intimidating. <laughs> okay, <great. laughs> oh. Mm -hmm. 
Okay. He's going to make a save real quick. Okay. Um, he looks confused about what to do right now. Uh, okay. And then, um, to Mila. Mila's gonna move to here. Mm -hmm. Um. He's wounded. See, um, yeah. He looks yeah, a little confused. Me. She's gonna hold her longbow. Um. And um and wait to see how he reacts to to Spinch, but she is she is holding the bow at the ready to release if uh mm -hmm. if he does anything aggressive or is there a door behind him or is yeah. he in the thing? yeah if he if he if he opens that door she's gonna let loose too <laughs> okay <laughs> yeah yeah pretty much anything other than surrender <laughs> she's gonna <laughs> let loose like, sounds good <laughs> yeah. all right then back to Vin. Uh, yeah, kind of seeing the threat, I'm gonna, I'll move here. Okay. And I will just hold an action, uh, if they, I guess I, I won't hold an action technically, I'm just gonna, mm -hmm. because it, I'll get a reaction regardless, I will mm -hmm. just kind of, uh, try my best to, uh, help help making their decision more clear and just kind of hold my stick like right up against their head. Nice. Yeah. Go ahead and make another intimidation check. Um, it can only oh, help. It won't hurt. Yeah. Okay, good. Because it, it either it helps not, or doesn't affect things. Can... Yeah. <laughs> oh, actually, I rolled pretty well there. Okay. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Um, he looks, he's eyeing the stick warily. Um, and you see that um, he drops his long bow. Um, Pavel. I'm gonna I'm gonna also try to help this out. Uh, not really seeing what's going on, but I'll like come up to here and be able to just poke my head around. And mm -hmm. I'm just gonna help by giving some instructions to uh, get down on the ground and put your hands behind your head. <laughs> <laughs> the cop is on the case. <laughs> All right. All right. Um. He looks back towards the door, looks to Pavel, looks to the rest of you all. And let's see, let's roll a decision check for him. He tries the door. Um, to Mila, if you would like to <laughs> release a check. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, he went for the door. Yeah. <laughs> and... And, uh, it misses or it glances off his shield on his back um, and uh, he opens this door steps through it and tries to um, is going to close it you can see he has a hand on it does Vin get a reaction? Okay, yes yeah I would get an opportunity attack then. yes yeah, right all yep. right so Nope. <laughs> he stored his <laughs> shield on his back, so it's really hard. <laughs> Guess he made um, a right call. <laughs> yeah. He really, he really did. <laughs> uh, these two are going to just get it close um, to the light. Right, Spinch. Right. Um, Spinch is going to say, uh, he's just going to sigh and he's going <laughs> to run and he's just going to tackle him to the ground. Okay. Uh, make an athletics door. check. Oh, yeah. it's closed. He'll open. Uh, he the door. hasn't opened. He hasn't closed it yet because it was he oh. opened it with his okay. action. He'll yeah. like he'll rumble through the door and just mm -hmm. fly on top of him. <laughs> nice. All right. Yeah. Make a athletics check. Okay. All right. Um, he's able to stand his ground and push you back into your oh. spot. Oh, I'll I'll say again. Please stop. <laughs> and he'll say, you stop. Let me go. Oh. Um. <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> Camilla. No. <laughs> you don't get to be sassy. Uh, 21 <laughs> hit. That hits. <laughs> Oh, eight, dang. Eight points, yeah. Yeah, uh, that got him in a really critical part, like a kid kidney or something, um, and he's bleeding profusely. 
It is her turn, though. Do a All sticker. right. Vin. Uh, I don't know if I can get much closer. I'll just pull out a little dart. Just toss a dart his way. Let's see if that does anything. Let's do it. Nope. <laughs> dart goes flying down the hallway. <laughs> Pavel. Um, I I guess I have to. Oh, I see him. Uh, mm -hmm. I'm I'm gonna go for the spell. Which uh, one? Told the dead. Okay. Um, is that a good idea? How? Uh, yeah, the damage. I don't know if Add Splash is gonna deal enough damage if it hits. Told the dead might not either, but there's a better chance. So, okay. take the wisdom save. Okay, he got an 11. Um, that is enough okay. to do it, so if you'd like to add any additional slayer. Oh my gosh, yes. Um, man, this kidney shot, uh, as the as the toll the dead happens, there's this arrow that is is sticking out of uh out of his kidney. And uh you know, once again, this sort of this black acre sort of begins to spurt out from the wound instead of blood uh and you can see that he like immediately sort of doubles over with the uh with the pain of it uh as you know the 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 necrosis begins to even spread toward i'm sorry <laughs> I'm, I'm this is cool your error. i'm destroying your error the necro <laughs> oh, no. necrosis even uh spreads into the uh into the fibers of the wood and it begins to uh to break down uh, and there's there's just this moment where this uh, this cultist uh, becomes aware that his body is failing from the inside out, uh, starting from this puncture wound before uh, his life is is he loses. Before he Dang, lets go. yeah, yeah. We'll give. Um, I'd like to give you inspiration and also um, Spinch inspiration for the really creative. Um, battle flavor this mm. battle um and then these two will just move up and... sorry for breaking your arrow <laughs> <laughs> i only uh, have so many of those and it does you, appear to get quiet more. <laughs> yeah, yeah quiet mm -hmm. uh, uh, i think i think oh, oh spinch will just look into the rest of this room to make sure nothing else is here yeah, like he might step over here just really quick, and then he'll mm -hmm. look towards the rest of the group and just do a thumbs up, like everything's okay. Mm -hmm. Yeah, there's no enemies in here. Um, yeah, yeah. it is fully lit with uh, torches. Um, there's a stone sarcophagus in the middle. Um, but it's filled with like skulls and bones, and there's six dusty bed rolls around it. Sorry, what rolls? Oh, bed rolls. Bed rolls. Okay. Yeah. Yeah, he'll give the thumbs up to the group. Glad that wants a thumbs up. <laughs> uh, seeing the thumbs up, I think Vin sits down and leans against the wall. Mm -hmm. I'm gonna right. start picking up my arrows. Except for that Does one. anybody <laughs> have healing drinks for Vin? Um, I'm good. I, I don't just need think like a, so. You know, I, an hour I have more. I have one. Like, I'm out. I think Vin has one. I have one. And Vin has one, I, right? I drank mine. Oh, uh, okay. I'm gonna pull mine out. <laughs> I'm pulling mine out. <laughs> do you want it? I'm gonna give it to you either way. You can decide to drink it now or I, later. I mean, but... Do do, uh, okay. I'll take it. But I mean, I'll we we might maybe just take a rest here for a second. <laughs> yeah. Good call. I will sit with you, Vin. I am also not feeling good. This door appears That's to fair. be open. Do I see anything mm -hmm. threatening threatening to be on this door? No, um, this room is also filled with torches, um, and this one has, uh, let me see, uh, an empty stone sarcophagus, uh, and, um, nothing else. Some rubble. Maybe, maybe we should get out of the corridor in case someone comes wandering. Shall we go into this room that has very nice bedrolls in them? Maybe we should move the corpses, too? Vendetta says. Vendetta, you are so smart. Oh, I'm Beauville. What's your preference? I like Vendetta. It's cool. Okay, Vendetta. Man, you know, you're not the only one who changed her name. Blanca really? also seemed to have <gasps> changed her name. Did she now? What was her and new she, name? He's like, he's like taking bodies yeah. and moving them <laughs> as he's talking to Vendetta. She'll help you. Um, <laughs> she's not strong, so she'll be like just holding up an arm, like, helping. Yeah, yeah, yeah. 
but he's just casually moving dead bodies mm-hmm. as he's talking with her. Yeah. Yes. Apparently, her new name it was oh, was Eudora. They what were friends was? of hers. Did something she happen? Died recently. Oh, I heard she was a I'm flaming not sure fist. How she died? She she did something like she gave a gift um, to Ill Matter, I think. And yeah. And something happened. I'm not too sure. Uh, I think Pavel would know. He said that Eudora, uh, it was thanks to Eudora. I think Dara said something like that. Yeah. Um, Uh I don't really understand how she did what she did, but yesterday I died. And somehow... Eudora took my place. It's not right, but that's kind of right. Oh. So she sacrificed herself somehow? Oh, that's awful. I just know. I mean, but that's very Eudora. She was yeah. Very <laughs> like, like, I frown and, like, kind of look away. She says, that's awful. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, it's definitely something she would do. It's just... Oh. I just hate to lose a friend, but I'm sure she did it for the right reasons. I think so. It seemed like she made very nice friends with these people, and now I'm friends with them. You put the corpses in this room, by the way. Just throw them yeah. on the pile. I'm going to move you for a second, Pavel. You can go back. Um, well, at least Spitch is here. Yes, they are very nice friends of mine now. Oh, are I they? like, or I understand why Eudora liked them. Yes, they're all very capable. You know, you guys yes, could be they... great bodyguards at the Devil's Den. Oh, does it pay better? Then cooking? Depends on the restaurant you're at. Mm. Can I still cook as a bodyguard? Well, I don't see why not. Hmm. You'd have to work Maybe in shifts, I will probably. Think about that. Yeah. As long as I can still cook, I like it. I can't wait to try your cooking. I've Do you have any better. with you? I'm so hungry. I have not made any meals, no, but I have some ingredients here. I never leave without food. And he'll like rummage in his pack and he'll he'll take some of his garlic that he has and he'll crush it on top of a loaf of bread, pepper, Aww. salt it. Um, and he'll also have a bit of cheese as well, and um, he'll present it to her as like a little snack and say, this is a lot better than the rations I gave you earlier, but before I didn't have much time, here you go. Oh, this is amazing. And she is just, she she takes tries to eat slowly, but you can tell she's really hungry and she wants to eat it really fast, but she wants yeah. to enjoy the flavor too, so she's like conflicted. The key is to crush the garlic and make it a, a little paste and then add the cheese to it because mm. it adds some very nice flavor. Oh. Oh, you're so smart with this stuff. I just like it. Oh, you'll have to meet all of my new friends too. I'm sure you guys are great yes. too. What are your names? I'm Tamila and this is Shadow. Oh, can I pet her? a very nice kitty cat. Oh, is it a he? Sure. She. It's a she. She? Okay. She is a very nice kitty cat. (laughs) She'll she'll just very attentively pet her. (laughs) I'll I'll, I'll get on Shadow's back and kind of like, be like, you know, scratch her at the same time to make sure it's safe. Okay, yeah. (laughs) So Shadow's knows it's a good thing. All right. She'll get really, she'll be really happy about it. Um, By the way. What everyone else like to do? Yeah, after the dead bodies, I would have helped Vin if he needed to help. If he needed help getting into the room. Yeah, there are bedrolls in here, Vin, which might be a little more comfortable. Yeah, I think I think Vin will like kind of drag himself. He'll grab his torch from here and like he'll just like slowly begin dragging himself mm-hmm. into this room. Yeah. And then like kind of just crawl down and lay in one of the bedrolls. <laughs> this is Vin, and then over there, that's Pavel. Hi, Pavel. Hi, Ben. Hi, Tamila. And hi, Shadow. Hi. 
Hello. Oh, and this is Klim. We're oh. new friends. Yes. Klim. Yep. I'm so sorry about your friend, Klim. He's just kind of silent right now. Mm. We're going to throw the Where best party when we get out of here. I love parties. Anyone, I think anyone? right now we'll yeah. take a rest. Is that okay. what we are doing, friends? I think that would be a good thing. Yeah. Not, not that I need one. I'm, I'm fine. I don't think I'm going to be benefited one at all. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I, I can't get any benefit from a rest, but I don't mind. Oh, well, I mean, day. that's actually not true. I can I, mm. I can I can do some rituals to rest. Yeah. 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 And it's still an yeah. hour of time that I you can still do stuff. stuff. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Mm -hmm. Great. Okay. Um. Well, let's go ahead and take a uh, thirteen minute break. Come back at the twenty minute mark. <laughs> and, uh, uh, sounds right. good. Yeah. Okay. All right. See you soon. Sounds good. <laughs>
Okay. All right. So here we are in this hallway. Everyone, you can take a break. I will too, and I will keep an eye out for things, and I'll keep a listen on the door as we kind of take a little break, I think. Yeah. Oh, sorry, we got all the corpses, right? So, um, I'll yeah. I'll also help Spitch. I can't benefit from a short rest, so I'm also just keeping a lookout. Okay. Um, the two NPCs are going to rest up as much as possible. And then Pavel said he had plants. Yeah, I want to do um, a couple of things with these dead bodies. Um, oh. <laughs> all right the first is they were they were all like longbowmen uh mm -hmm. is there like one arrow that i can i can take from them sure yeah okay great i'm going to uh minor conjuration a uh uh a set of shears mm -hmm. uh and i'm just gonna clip off the ends of it so there's no arrowhead there's mm -hmm. no uh feathery bit it's just like a little stick okay okay so i've got that mm -hmm. and then i'm gonna go through like all three of them four of them that are in here four. and like they they have like just regular clothes underneath their chain now right mm -hmm. yeah i am looking for like a loose thread on any of them yeah i'd say each of them probably has one they're pretty pretty ragged clothes right. underneath i just i just i just pull that thread until i've got like a nice good mm -hmm. bit of string and i take my shears and i just cut okay you gotta stick in some string i did it <laughs> <laughs> done there we go um then i mean i then i think i'm actually that that's it i've harvested okay. what i needed to from the, the dead guys uh i'm gonna wait 40 minutes and then um using my uh i mean if anyone wants to do anything during that time uh, I, I'm going to use my bit of wood and bit of string to uh, to, to ritually cast. Oh. Um, what is it? Uh, the unseen servant for the first time. Oh, nice! Yeah, amazing. I, and I sort of thumb my nose at Vin as I do it. <laughs> <laughs> um, Got what you needed. By the way, is there anything living, organisms, fungi, etc., in this room? No, this is the. Uh, this room's skulls. been cleared out. Yeah, there's a lot of okay. skulls and things in this sarcophagus and bones. Um, it seems like they've collected bones and skulls from all the other places and collected them here for some reason. Interesting. Okay. Is there anything worth investigating in the room? You can try looking. Yeah. Sure, uh -huh. why not? That is, that is a wrong one. Investigation. 14? Sorry, it took a minute to come through. Yeah, um, yeah you dig through the, the skulls and stuff. Um, you don't see anything of value. Um, just more bones uh, upon bones upon bones. And you look around the, the edges of the room, you see the bedrolls are very dusty and like barely used. Um, and uh, nothing of value in the room. Um, but we'll say, uh, yes, most uh, all the bones are human. There's a few like rat skeletons as well in there though. Okay. Um, and uh, at a 14, you also put together that uh, Merkel was the, called the Lord of Bones. Maybe related. Merkel, the Lord of Bones. Uh, Vendetta and Klim, uh, if Anyone else like to do anything on the rest, or you just rest him? Uh, well, just Ven's the only one resting, I right? Oh uh, yeah, I was supposed to say. I think Vin briefly during that period. Do you think? Mm -hmm. Huh. Hope Vin didn't die again, as he's just like laying <laughs> fully sprawled out. But he's just napping. It's fine. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Uh, the NPCs are back to full health now. Yay. Um. And. Uh, uh, let me roll real yeah, quick. Yeah, roll your hit dice. Uh, other, you didn't hear any noises nice. during the break. 
Um, seems pretty quiet. Um, after I'm done with the unseen servant, which uh, I, I hold on mm-hmm. to see that I'm above this task, you needn't be observant. It's only right that I should have it done by you, my servant. Oh yay! <laughs> oh nice. That's better than the last <laughs> one, I think. I think you had um, a a working one that. Yeah, that was really bad. I don't know if I shared that. I just I just oh. told you it was really bad. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> that one, but that so. one was really anyway. good. <laughs> anyway, I give uh, I give my torch to the uh, to the unseen servant once they're here, and then I start Amazing. working on detect magic. <laughs> <laughs> okay, let me see. I think I have a torch icon I can give you. Let me just have a hovering torch following you around. If we finish the short rest, I'll. I'll shake Vin's shoulder and I'll say, Oh, Vin's glowing. Uh, <laughs> I'll, uh, I'll shake okay. Vin and I'll say, Hello, Vin. Are you feeling better? A little. I'm still in a bit of pain, but you know, it, it's slightly better. That's very good. Kind of stretches out a little bit, tracks his back, <laughs> gets up slowly. How are you feeling, Vendetta? Yeah. Oh, much better. Ready to party. Let's go. Is everyone else okay? I'm good. Shall we move on? Okay. Uh, he'll open the door and just peek uh, to see if there might be any people. Nope. No one around. Uh, okay. And then he'll step. I guess he'll try to be quiet, so he'll try and roll still. Okay. Not great, guys. You hear Finch <laughs> clicking and clanking. Uh, he'll go into this room and another casket with bone situation. Uh, this room, the sarcophagus is empty. Mm. Any fungi, moss, living things in here? Uh, yeah, make a quick perception or investigation. Yeah, you do find um, some mushrooms over here in the corner. Finch will run and collect as much as he can. Yeah. Uh, I would say you grab... um, Oh, gosh. Cave mushrooms? (laughs) Cool. I love it. (laughs) Edible? Uh, Yeah, they're edible. They're very earthy flavor. Fantastic. Mm Mm-hmm. Uh, Pavel, do you want the torch just kind of following you for now? Is a yeah. servant just following you? Okay. Yep. They'll come back excitedly to the group. I got some mushrooms. <laughs> but okay. Nothing, nothing bad. All right. Well, then that's even better. Um, yes. They are yummy cave mushrooms. Okay. Is there any place we missed then? Or is this it? Most, there's, there's a store here. Mm-hmm. There's one where Tamil is at. And there was, like, rubble over here. I don't know if that's worth looking at. Can I listen at the door? Look for traps and all that stuff? Oh, (laughs) Spinch just went and opened it. (laughs) Sure. As soon as you said there's a door here, he just went and, like, opened it. (laughs) Yeah, so uh, you see another room with another sarcophagus here. Um, There's four torches on the wall, so it's very brightly lit. Um, The open sarcophagus, though, is filled with blood. Uh, the lid is off and off to the side um, and there's six dusty bedrolls on the floor and there's three foot lockers Ooh, foot lockers yeah he'll men- motion everyone in with that information mm-hmm. guess we'll take a look we expect one of the foot lockers for traps okay see yeah make an investigation check You don't see any traps. Um, and it is, let me see. Um, two are unlocked and one has a padlock. I test my key in it for the, the other guy who had. You test it and it doesn't work. 
Hmm, maybe we should go check the bodies and see if any of them have a key. We didn't really search them. Or did we search them? No, I don't we think you... Them. Well, you searched the whole room. Um, and mm -hmm. so I'll say during your search of the room, um, you just found their chain mail, their mace, and their longbows and their arrows. Mm. And ragged clothing. Well, what's in the unlocked ones? Yeah, so you open the uh, unlocked ones. Um, uh, the first one... Look here. Uh, that actually both of them are um, just filled with um, plain clothes. Mm -hmm. I will take those plain clothes. Okay. It would so, be common may clothes. I have yeah. these? Okay, nope. if no one opposes. <laughs> Hey, come! Vendetta said. <laughs> Are you going to eat them? <laughs> oh, no. They just seem like they fit me. I'm... Then you object if I try to break open this other footlocker. And our... I mean... What's my name? Spinch. Spinch. <laughs> there we go. <laughs> I think everyone's dead that probably owns them. Hmm. And then I've seen it for traps or any kind of weird false bottom or anything like that. Is it just a normal mm -hmm. locker? Yeah, with the padlock. Uh, iron padlock. Okay. <laughs> um, I feel like I'm going to have less success with the iron padlock and possibly <laughs> more success just trying to smash the... the... <laughs> Uh -huh. So we'll, we'll we'll do that. We'll try to kind of splinter um, the wood from the the lock. Okay. Do you have any tools you'd like to use? Oh, my poor short swords. I don't want to do anything that's in that would endanger them, but I probably would use that. Do you want a crowbar? Yeah, a crowbar yeah. And hand it to Vin. <laughs> <laughs> All right, Vin has the crowbar. <laughs> Oh, I have the crowbar. Yeah. yeah, I was hoping we could just Daisy Chang handing it up to Tamilla. <laughs> yeah, sure. I'll hand, I'll hand, I'll hand the crowbar to Tamilla. <laughs> or actually, I'll hand it to Spinch. I'll hand it to Spinch. We'll throw it to Tamilla. Okay. I would like to use the crowbar to try to pry open. Okay, give me an athletics with advantage. Oh yeah. Uh, surprisingly strong, um, Tamilla gets it just at the right angle to crack it open, um, and the lock breaks away from the wood, um, and the op the chest opens. Um, and you see um, some more clothing. Um, this looks um, uh, just normal, common clothing, but you also see some letters and a pen and an ink pot. Uh, uh, sorry, a quill and an ink pot. Um, so one of the letters is another missive from a hidden lord. Hmm. And then the other letter between a certain Vaz and Duke Danthemper. <clears throat> I think we killed Vaz in the last room then. Must have. Maybe. I mean, they didn't have the key on them, though. Maybe he's still out there somewhere. There's three swords? Didn't know that. What work? What? The great work which was begun in the light of the companion be completed here under the aegis of the Dark Lord. Do they mean like the 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 stealing of Elterum, maybe? That that's the great work? Or the the murders or whatever the murders are for, some kind of ritual they're casting. Okay, so TK is inscribing these visages by his own hand at the manor. So we don't know who TK is, but we know he's at Vampen for Manor. Mm -hmm. Right? That's what that line means? 
That's what I read it as? At least. Passing through the hand passing through holy hands directly from the shield. Okay, so he so TK is getting messages from this shield of the hidden lord. Like like this like person that speaks for Gargoyle is talking to TK, who then is writing these letters. Seek the blood of the holy orders. That's like that's us, right? <laughs> that's me and Vin. We're seeking <laughs> our blood. You do have noticed that, um, for example, uh, Vin's vision was a, a person that was a son of a hell rider. Mm. Right. Mm -hmm. yeah. It's about lineage. Is this surprising news to Pavel that Van Thumper has three thumbs? Or you knew that? No. I knew, um... that, I knew that there were two. Mm -hmm. in out of character, I knew that there were two. I don't know if Pavel knew that there were three. I didn't know that there were three. Mm -hmm. Okay. Um, in character, you would know that when Mortlock invited you to the manor, he said you were going to meet with his brothers, plural. Oh, I thought it was just brother. Okay. Yep. Okay. Is is there an iron barb enclosed in the packet? No, there is not. What day is it today? <laughs> we have a calendar. Uh, we do. <laughs> okay, okay. Uh, I know and... what day it is, but Spinch does not. <laughs> I can't find the calendar right now. I will find uh, it. It's under it. text. Um, I can... Is... Oh, text. Cool. Um, yep. Is the beloved ranger a place in the wide? We know what the wide is. Is it a place in in, um, in Baldur's Gate? Yes, it is a place in Baldur's Gate that you can go to, like a um a monument to a ranger. And who is Duke Porter? Do the people of Baldur's Gate know him? Uh, yes, he is one of the remaining three. Um. Dukes of Baldur's Gate, um, and uh, he called back Liara Portier, who is his the woman from Schult, who's working in Schult. Um, let me pull up the Portiers in a sec. Is it her uncle or her father? Yeah, I believe That's it's today, y'all. <laughs> mm -hmm. That is today. Ooh. So what what time is it? The the twenty first was also in the twenty first of the fading a few months ago was also when like do we know how old this is? That was when we were like that was the first day. That's like when we were on our way to El Toro. Mm -hmm. oh. oh, it might mm. be a different month. So wait, wait, wait. We were we were What is the Held by the of refugee relief. Okay. So the refugees wouldn't have been arriving by the twenty first, would they? What day did El Terrell fall? What is the confraternity confraternity of refugee relief? What is that? Uh, it's like you know a a group um that is doing refugee relief um for the falling of El Terrell. Um, okay, it's like so a the, citizens okay. group. Yeah. That, Together. So then, probably, probably, t I mean, probably today or last month. Mm. Probably not the twenty first. How old does paper look? <laughs> a month old. Uh, huh. Analyzing paper. Uh, we could just do a investigation check. Sure. Did it? Did it come in an envelope that was dated? Mm-hmm. 
Was there a postage stamp? <laughs> they did not come with a date or a postage stamp. Um, what what time is it right now? If we had to guess, we came in the morning. Um, How yeah, you arrived, arrived in the morning. Um, I'd say you've you've taken two short rests, right? So it's at least two hours. Um, so it's probably like one o'clock. Mm -hmm. I didn't say what time. If it is today, it would make sense out of character. I think. For it to be this month if it's the ages of the dark gods so age of the dark gods and the three gods of death the month is the rotting so like things dying mm -hmm. in my opinion that sounds like this month yeah well the the guy who's held in a speech wouldn't care about that right he's a good guy that's holding the speech. They're just evil people that are trying to assassinate him and they just care about where he's speaking. Right, but I feel like if they were to assassinate, it would be like a meaningful time. So I feel like regardless, they they instigated the fall of El Terrero and then they wanted something, some kind of event, which I'm sure they've manipulated into getting people that they could kill for something there the the i, th I think the, what, what we got before the reason for all of the chaos like i think maybe zadius told us this is the reason why they were doing this is in like killing people and bringing demons and devils into i guess just devils into the the realm was that they were trying to sort of soar, sow discord and chaos and perhaps like turn more people to evil so that when those people died, they would go to hell and be able to bolster the, the armies of hell. That's kind of what I understood. Mm -hmm. And so this is, I think, okay. more just more pain that they're trying to inflict because it makes them stronger when they do. Oh, and this information, if Porter is the most senior member, his assassination would allow Vantham Per likely to take a more senior position and have Ooh, more, that's a good point. Have more mm -hmm. um okay. but there's things. But we we okay, that's a good that's an excellent point. I found in my notes there's a quote from something I don't know what it's from, but a a duke lost but still lives, a dance of dukes in a chaotic city, the outcome of an assassination tipped on a cholt diplomat could decide everything, and I thought we decided the purators um. were the cholt diplomat. That or at least was, Porter was. That was the prophecy. Well, that was the um, the answer that I got to that, that Havel got when he asked a question on the leaf of mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. yeah oh, wait. So... Duke Dillon Porter of Boulder's Gate sent his daughter daughter Liera Porter to Chult working mm -hmm. with tribes with imports so they would kill him well, this... or his daughter well, listen, th this thing doesn't say that the assassin is a target to Duke, right. he just as the Duke will be delivering a speech. If we right. can assume that maybe his daughter is going to be there, be there. Right. I feel like she's more at risk. Definitely. Maybe. I'm looking at the pool of blood in the sarcophagus. <laughs> okay. <laughs> mm -hmm. I am. I think there's a chance that Vaz might be sleeping in it. And that he's some very like a holy creature. This is the thought process going through my head. Mm -hmm. so I'm trying okay. to decide like the best way <laughs> to, to find out mm -hmm. whether or not oh, there's I, something in this. I I think I got this one. Everyone ready? Uh, Vin's gonna pull out his stick and just <laughs> get ready to like dip it right into the the thing. <laughs> Right okay. about like a head would probably be. Well, do, do you want to put something important in the pool of blood? I feel like it might like disintegrate or something. What? Oh, this isn't the important stick. I've I've got like one that's almost half halfway done. 
I've got another one that I could make. Halfway you know, this is just you know, this yeah. is just the use my usual one. <laughs> All right. Well, I'm in, I'm as as Vin gets ready to dip his stick. I'm going to like be ready over the uh, over the sarcophagus with my uh. My Already in action as well. Hearing Tamila's theory. Uh, Pavel, would you like to do anything? Uh, yeah, I'll come into the room and, uh, be ready to help as well. Oh, actually, I should probably be out of the room in case this explodes. I will. I'll be out of the room. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> One person out of the room. One not thinking One about survivor. in this moment. <laughs> he is our designated survivor. <laughs> mm -hmm. Yeah, that's a good thing. Okay. Yeah. Uh, okay. Uh, seeing everybody's ready, I'm gonna... Uh, just, just make kind of a uh, less of a smack because it's like a liquid and kind of like more of like a stabbing motion with my quarter staff and just see if I can try to hit the bottom of this thing. Mm -hmm. Okay, um, your stick dips into the blood and you all see the eerie ripples through the blood as it does thud against something far closer than you would think would be the bottom, and you see coming out of the water covered in this blood wearing these long black robes and having this really long black hair mixed with the, the red of the blood, um, a woman stands up. Um, and I'm going to need everyone to roll initiative. I called it so hard! Yo. Wow, you really did. <laughs> you did. amazing. <laughs> uh, on, we all have yeah. My we all have who was poking. <laughs> mm -hmm. Oh shoot! I didn't. Uh, I didn't click my thing. Oh, the... I gotta get my my token. <laughs> oh, there it is. Okay. Oh, I'm probably so bad. <clears throat> okay, and I just do one second. Okay. I didn't change the music. Because we're about to fight. I... Bench, you are up first. Would just be like... <laughs> yeah. Um, do all of our released things happen? <laughs> yes, or... yes, go ahead. Um L and go ahead and release all of your attacks. No no plus two. Okay. Doesn't hit, doesn't hit. Um Vin, did you have yeah, no, you were poking the water. Um, Pavel, did I, you have I was anything? Poking, held? So I don't think I would have had anything held. Yeah. I don't think Pavel had anything held. They were just watching, right? Correct. Yep. Okay. All right. Um, okay. So then Spinch, you're up. All right. He'll As just it go. dodges out of your way. Yeah, he'll just go. Uh, and then just swipe. <laughs> Not expecting. Yeah, that hits. Oh, very nice. Are, are, we, are we flanking okay. this, uh, this, uh, this? Oh, yeah. Oh, Go ahead and take yeah. advantage. advantage. I'll mm -hmm. try again to see if I get a nat 20. Yeah. Aw. Oh, nah. No. Oh, yeah. And get um, your advantage for your opportunity attack, too. Roll one more for me. Attack? I don't think Tamilla probably for... isn't flanking. Oh, uh, yeah. Tamilla. No. Only Spinch and Ben. Yeah. Never yeah. right, But Spinch so can get advantage. one. Up. But Spinch yeah. would get one more for the opportunity. Mm -hmm. Uh, okay. Advantage. Okay. Twelve. No. Nope. Um, I do have my offhand for my like regular yes. attack. Yes. Go ahead. But I'll try and swipe with advantage. Sixteen. Yes. Fantastic. Uh, so he does the ah, and he just does a <laughs> couple of swipes, uh, mm -hmm. and his last swipe hits. Great. And that. Ends his turn. All right, then. Uh, okay. The, <laughs> can we go back a little bit? And maybe this determines me too. What is, this lady just stood up, right? Like out mm -hmm. of the blood. Yes. Uh, can I like? What does she look like? Does she look like <laughs> more confused or like upset? Or um, she looks. Like she's about to kill us? very angry like she has been disturbed from her rest um and that uh she has um <laughs> two daggers at her side which her hands are resting on um that she's about to uh 
attack you with, pretty much. Um, and you do feel okay. um, that she is, like, eyeing you all up and pinpointing your weaknesses. Ooh. Great. Uh, I've got a lot of those. Uh, I'm gonna... <laughs> I'm, I'm gonna go ahead and spend a key point to flurry of blows. Okay. <laughs> uh, and I'll do uh, all of these are gonna be at advantage because. Okay. Of yeah. Stage. Yeah. Mm -hmm. uh, so, number one. Miss. That one hits. Probably. Yeah. Yep. And then two unarmed. Okay. Ah. Also <laughs> miss. And that one hits. Only one yeah. Hit. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Okay, Tamilla. Oh, her her initiative didn't get in there. Um, no, it did not. Hang on a second. Oh yeah, I don't see it. I think a lot of us rolled before the uh, the tracker was up. Mm. I got you. Um, did you fix your rolls if you did so then? Yeah. Okay. Yes, I think so. All right, they had a three, so um, they do go last. I'm just going to that works out. reorder it. Um, but we were at Pavel or we, no Tamilla. We, we rolled Tamilla. very low. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, Tamil's gonna short sword and offhand short sword. Okay. With 24. Yes. And offhand of 10. No, sorry. But the 24 hits. It's a pretty strong hit. Yeah. That is, yeah. All right. Then, Pavel. Oh my gosh. I have one second level spell slot left and i want to detect thoughts this person but if i detect the thoughts this person that means i can't detect thoughts other people later on Hillary, we have um we have this lady and we have more lock left right i think we have two and vaz <laughs> yeah we have oh, at least some vaz this could be vaz could be could be. I mean, this we. This is the. This is the Chold Ambassador, right? Probably. What? No, we can't really probably talk right now. But you think you can use your inspiration for a hint if you would like. Yeah, like I mean, this we found this 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 dead person inside a box that mm -hmm. had her like assassin note in it. Right, like the twenty first was probably last month, and we missed it. Um, so this is different. This is a sarcophagus that was sitting in the middle of the room, that was filled with oh. blood. Um, the lock oh, box was okay. off to the side, so it's not sorry, the same sorry. box. Sorry. Yeah. Okay. Then no, I don't want to detect thoughts. This thing. Okay. All right. <laughs> okay. Here we go. <laughs> you don't need to use your inspiration um, then. That was just a clarity. Cool. For cool, the cool, situation. Cool. Yeah. Um. Yeah. I'm. I am just going to magic missile then. Uh, yes. If I get out of here with spell slots, I'm gonna feel stupid. Okay, okay. and that's three. That's, yeah, 15, nope. 15 force damage. Dang, dude, you guys knocked her out before she got to go. <laughs> 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 um, you feel free to add any flair there, as you all just oh, go crazy on her. <laughs> I'm just like standing, yeah, I'm just like standing in the doorway and I'm just like, no, no, no. <laughs> like, uh, uh, I, 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 I w w wiggle my finger back and forth with each no and uh, little darts just shoot out. <laughs> Go back to sleeping. And she splashes into the blood. Um, the blood uh, splashes on the three of you as well. Oh, <laughs> as she falls into the pool. Uh... It is now floating in and the pool. just wipes as much off as he can. Yeah. <laughs> oh, this is just like the butcher shop. <laughs> can I, like, try to, like, heave her out of it and, like, see if there's anything else in the sarcophagus? Mm-hmm. Yeah. Um, it's pretty... Uh, go ahead and make an athletics check for me. Yeah. No nothing coming up on detect magic. I'll help. I'll help them out. Right. Nothing. I see her trying um, to But I'll give you that your, your rose was glowing. Until she died. Okay. Oh. oh okay. Oh, yeah. So maybe it is Vaz, because he was a th he was the thing. He was the knight. Uh yeah. You were able to lift her out, and we can move her to the the side here. Um, she had feel... daggers, uh, a long black uh cloak, and uh leather armor. Mm -hmm. Leather armor is pretty good. 
Can I, can I check her, like, clothes and daggers? Does she have the name Vaz and the Nightblade <laughs> carved all too many of them? Yes, on her underwear. Is she... is... <laughs> no, okay. <Yeah. laughs> uh, there's no names on anything that she is carrying or holding. I'm kind of like talking out loud to the group, though, but isn't that a thing with your, your flower, uh, Pavel? Like, it was supposed to recognize a Nightblade, and we know that Vaz is a Nightblade, and Vaz yeah. was the one that took the team up treasure. I'm looking at the pool of blood again. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, I, I mean, Nebula I didn't to... tell us anything about what Vaz looks like. I'm gonna stick my hand in her pool of blood yeah. and look for a Tiamat treasure. <laughs> Make an investigation check. God, this is so gross. <laughs> 18. Uh, you thoroughly search it, and pretty quickly, um, but you find nothing but uh, the stone at bottom. Maybe, uh, maybe we can ask Nebula to clarify if this is Vaz or not. Yeah, that's fair. All right, I'll uh, I'll I'll pull out um, Nebula. Mm -hmm. Hey, uh, hey, Nebula, can can you see this person in the corner? Do you see anything? Uh, it appears to be a woman. Is it Vaz? Uh, I never met Vaz. You know, Nebula, I. I have. I want to see. I I'm curious about something. I'm gonna mm -hmm. pull out um Declan's, uh, uh, uh necklace, and I'm oh. just gonna like drape it over. Um... <laughs> <laughs> okay. Yeah. Um. When you do so, uh, you see what appears to be a dragon cultist wearing the the crazy helmed um dragon horned armor. Um and uh. Uh, it just seems to be a, a very young, uh, like, just hit, like, adulthood woman. Um, and just, like... With lots of tattoos. Yes, lots of <laughs> tattoos of dragons and hearts. And... <laughs> so it's it's not just a cultist head, it's, like, a whole, like, the, the illusion. Mm -hmm. Yeah, the whole... Wow. Yeah, looks like the whole... Because it's supposed to show the whole form as it was so before. You're like... So, like, so you're holding the illusion's head up. Yeah. <laughs> is it is it like an awkward height where like her like legs like sinking to the floor because illusion doesn't know what to do, like sitting and standing. Yes, it's, it's clipping. clipping. <laughs> Definitely clipping. The matrix is glitching. <laughs> okay. This is too weird. I put the necklace away. <laughs> And it's back to his skull. <laughs> All right. Thanks, Nebula. Um, you know, I kind of, I kind of feel bad just stuffing mm -hmm. you in my backpack, knowing that you can see and it's boring in there. It is um, very boring. <laughs> like proper right. up, you, so you, you can... can just, you, you can just hang out with me. I'm gonna, I'm gonna, I'm gonna carry Nebula. I've got a free hand. <laughs> Thanks to the unseen circle. Yes. You look so cool right now. <laughs> just carrying a skull around. <laughs> I think Spinch will converse with Pavel and just be like, how did you find the skull friend who speaks? You know, Spinch could not could hear, right? Spinch wouldn't be able to hear? Oh, you're right. Right. It Only the holder can hear. It. Yeah. Why are you speaking to a skull? <laughs> you know, Spinch, here you go. I like, I, 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 like, I hold out uh, Nebula to Spinch to uh, go, go, go ahead and touch her. The spinch will hold her and touch her. Okay, um... I still don't understand why you were speaking to a skull. Oh, you're not a bright one, are you? Oh. Hello, who's there? I'm Nebula. What do you think about dragons? Oh, I think I like them very much. Oh, me too. Hey, you want to hear about this cool tattoo I have? <laughs> Okay. And I think he'll just converse with Nebula. <laughs> She'll talk all about her tattoos and her life in the cult and how, uh -huh. um, you know, you need to join and need to serve Tiamat. <laughs> he'll, he'll entertain the, the cool <laughs> tattoos and whatnot, but... Yeah. Right. 
he'll he'll hand the call oh. uh the the skull back to Pavel and say, I like Nebula. He's very talkative. <laughs> well, uh, I believe uh, Nebula was a was a she. Mm-hmm. Yes. Yeah. Yes. Oh, anyway. Um, while they're doing that, I'd like to search this body looking for the iron barb or anything else that might. Yes. Gotta make an investigation. Oh, I'm not good for this. Oh, God. Ooh. Okay. <laughs> Um, you just smush uh, more blood on her, and then your the blood that's already on her is just like wiping around, and it's just it's you can't really find anything because everything's just covered in blood. It's so much blood. Pinch <laughs> <laughs> my ass to Mela if he can give her or give him the daggers that she's looking at over there. Mm -hmm. I'll just I'll, I'll hand her the daggers. Okay, I'll hand Spinch. I will mm -hmm. hand Spinch the blood-soaked daggers. <laughs> so yep. gross. I'll clean them Don't lick me right me now. Uh, Vendetta yeah. will see that and like, I'll give you your hand axe back if you'll give me a dagger. Oh, okay. And he'll he'll trade. Yep. Um, he's wiping them down with the extra set of common clothes that he's taken. Oh, there so you go. he'll go down to three, because I think mm -hmm. he had four. Yeah. And then he'll help Tamila wipe down as well. Uh, and Ben <laughs> as well with the extra clothes. There you go. And he'll discard the bloody clothes. So I think he, he probably has like two sets left. This hallway doesn't make any sense. I kept hearing what, does steps to the north, and there's no way north. Huh. Maybe you were hearing wrong. Maybe there's a hidden passage. Um, sorry to be just fixated on this body. Is there any, like, looking at her, is there any, like, signs of, like, how she was surviving sleeping under liquid? <laughs> <laughs> uh... Make a um, medicine check? Is she a demon or dead or something? Um, okay. Or a swimmer who knows or how to swimmer, hold her yeah. breath. <laughs> yeah. Has really yeah, great gills. breath control. Yeah. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Special gills. <laughs> uh, a snorkeling yeah. tube. <laughs> uh, let me see if that's officially stated, but give me a sec. Just scary. It's just meant to be a scary thing. Don't question it. <laughs> um, yeah, you can tell that there was nothing aiding her in staying under the blood for that long. And I'll give you that. She was just able to do it. I'm thinking about cutting her head off. <laughs> Just for good measure. I don't know. It's freaking me out. Would you like to use my hand axe? Yeah. I'll hand it over for her to use. I'm gonna cut, I'm gonna cut the, the girl's mm -hmm. head off. Alright. Uh, it the takes gross. you a minute, but yeah, you're able to sever the head. All the blood is just it's mixed fleshy. with the other blood. <laughs> Yeah, it is um, what you would expect for a human head. All right. I'll, I'll let I'm it lay down. I say it loud. Maybe someone who's better at investigating things and not so overwhelmed with all the blood should look for a secret passage. There is a secret passage. Okay, come on, Nebula. Let's go look for a passage. <laughs> yeah, uh, I'm, I'm something like interesting to do. <laughs> I like I go back to Vendetta and I just kind of ask uh, like where where did you think you heard it from and start looking around. Yeah, um, she'll go back to um, the room where she was, and um, kind of like point in the direction and kind of like takes her a minute to be like I think it was this way like through like. She's pointing, okay. trying to point up here, ish. Gotcha. This direction. Wait, 
definitely start looking for a hidden door somewhere in this way. Yeah. Uh, who would like to make the check? And if you're welcome, helping each other, you can do it with advantage. Yeah, I would say I'll help Pavel out. So. Yeah, I, okay. I, I, I just did it. <laughs> oh, whoops. Yeah. <laughs> Oh, okay. I, I can roll, yeah, I can that's roll definitely again. enough. I mean, yeah, if roll, you want roll, a twenty, roll, go ahead. Roll, yeah. Yeah. Feeling from me. Uh -huh. Okay. Okay. There we go. There you go. <laughs> All right. Uh, yes, you do see a secret passageway where Tamila is. Um, as you, um, you find a little bit of an unnatural part of the stone that um, looks like a rock sticking out of the wall, but when you push it in, um, this part of the wall opens up. Uh, and you see into that area is a flooded area. Uh, let me check on smell real quick. After that, I just make my way back to the uh, the back <laughs> of the the, the line. <laughs> mm -hmm. <laughs> uh, you don't smell the smell um, there at all. Um, you do see that there was once torches, but they've long gone out. Like they recently blown out, or they've been. Uh, make a nature or um, yeah, I guess that'd be nature or investigation. Okay, and oh, they both suck. <laughs> uh, you can't tell how long it's been. Um, you know that they've they're not like a fresh torch. Um, so they burned for quite some time, and then now they're out. Hey, look, the torches are out. <laughs> I'll, I'll relight them as I go, if you want. Um, I don't need you want... to see. Oh, okay. I, I, I will relight them as I go, I guess. <laughs> <laughs> uh, yeah, and if, if I'm ever near a torch, I'm just going to try to relight it if I can. Okay. All right, great. So, um... Um, the prisoners are still there, right? Xavius and the dead guy? Yeah, uh-huh. Okay, great. Vince, you want to go second? Okay. Turn, turn off the lights. Maybe don't, 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 don't light things. Maybe don't light things. That's that's okay if you don't oh, want to light things. Oh, okay. Why, why, why no light things? <laughs> So yeah, Tamila saw, yeah, a bunch of, there's a fight going on down this hallway, and you're all beginning to hear it. Um, if you keep following this along to the left, um, you hear the sound of a skull cracking. Ooh. And a guy yelling, yeah! Follow Tamila. Can I, like, can I hide to, like, get into the square but be hidden? Mm-hmm. To try to hide? All right, I'm a real stealth. Okay. Mm -hmm. You're distracted, right? That's fine. <laughs> <laughs> uh, Pavel, are you moving up? Yeah, okay. Yeah. Yep. Okay. All right. Um, yeah, as you get closer, um, you see several um, dead cultists in the water. Um, two uh, hooded figures and Mortlock in the distance. <laughs> Uh, and they, the two hitted figures appear to be in combat with Mortlock. Whoa. Should we help? I'm, I'm following Tamila's lead. What did, what did Tamila say? Should we help? Quietly. Should we help? Who, who are we helping? They both look. Others better. approach. Retreat for now. Uh, you see the hooded figures begin to separate from Mortlock, who looks a little bit confused um, as uh, these two um, begin to run. Uh, would you like to enter initiative right now, or would you like to wait to see? Um, Vince doesn't paused. know what's going on and is following Tamila, so whatever Tamila <laughs> thinks. I, I was just watching. I'm pretty paused right now. I don't. I don't really know what to... Here, so I'm, I'm waiting. I guess waiting. I guess the definition of waiting. Okay. All right. Um, yeah. So you see the two hooded figures um, run out of the room. Uh, give me one second to see where they run to. Yeah. Got a little ahead of the group. 
Mm-hmm. <laughs> mm-hmm. At least wait till Vin and, and Pavel mm-hmm. are up closer. Yeah, I'll move up. I, I don't want to get too close just because I am carrying a light, but yeah, I'll, I'll move up. Okay. All right. Um, Mortlock says, who's there? Need a Pavel. I recognize that voice. Um, so I'm gonna walk up. He's it's around this corner, right? Mm-hmm. So Go yeah, ahead. I'm just gonna walk up. Um, actually, before I do, I am going to go ahead and cast detect thoughts. Ooh, okay. Okay. All right. So I cast it. And then I step around a corner, and you know the actions are going to be a little bit weird here. Mm-hmm. Uh, and I bring my uh, my servant around <laughs> so mm-hmm. I can see. <laughs> um, I don't see anyone still. Yeah, He's like, it's, well, a, it's a little one. further down. Okay. Yeah. Okay. Um, I start searching for thoughts though when I don't see anything. How far away is? Um, let me check. I don't know if it's thirty. It's probably thirty. I probably just. Probably just doesn't reach. Yeah, um, that would put you at thirty there. Uh, within thirty feet, yeah, thirty feet. Uh, so I don't see. So I'm just gonna keep going. Okay. Grab your torch. I'm gonna keep up with Pavel. Yeah. Yeah. There you go. Oh, now you see him. <laughs> mm-hmm. And he looks wounded. Uh, uh, he's he's taking a knee and like catching his breath and. But looking wary. When I see him, I'm going to I'm gonna I'm gonna focus my detect, detect thoughts on him, uh, which also means that detect magic is gone. Uh, mm, so yeah. get rid of that. Um, I'm just gonna say, Mortlock, Morty, what's going on? What are you doing down here? How? You were supposed to meet me at the manor. What are you doing down here? Um, his, his, his surface thoughts, do they, Mm -hmm. um, like, is there anything different other than what he's saying? Yeah, um, he's confused, um, and he's thinking, um, I'm glad those guys ran away, but what am I going to do next? You, Morty, (laughs) look like you need some help. Are you okay? Why? Who were you fighting? Why? It was Vaz and some other that the prisoner you gave me. They were working together. I kind of turned my head at that. <laughs> oh, you mean the you mean the Nightblade? Yes. I think my brothers arranged it. Man, I'm 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 going to probe deeper. <laughs> okay. Uh is Let's that a save? Uh I think it is a wisdom save. Yeah. Uh wisdom. if you probe deeper, the target must make a wisdom saving throw. If it fails, you gain insight wow. into its reasoning, its emotional state, and something that looms large in its mind. It he rolled a nat 20. <laughs> uh, okay. Uh, uh, if 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 it succeeds, the spell ends. <laughs> Oh, sorry. <laughs> okay. Um, Man, unless you shift your attention to another creature. Is... Wait, the spell, <gasps> it's, 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 the spell ends. Yeah, it, it, it okay. ends. Okay. And it know, he knows? Mm-hmm. Yep. I'm like, oh, yeah, well, you can trust me. Me. You know me. You don't need magic. <sighs> More luck. <laughs> Can I do an insight Mortlock. check on that? Yeah. <laughs> yeah, can I can I insight yeah, as well? Absolutely. Mm-hmm. Okay. Uh, I would not I shouldn't have an advantage on that, but okay. so it's just seventeen. Um, um I'm gonna you know, I think I think I should as well insight. <laughs> or yeah, is absolutely. he is he rolling something against my he he should he should be doing something against my passive, probably. Mm-hmm. Um Like do I do I believe him in this moment? <laughs> Uh, you know, nine. uh, nine is the number. <laughs> oh my god, he got it. He rolled an passive. eight, so <laughs> um, <laughs> he's not against you, but he's definitely keeping things from you. 
So you you can't trust him, but yeah. he's not here to hurt you. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. I'm gonna I'm gonna get closer. Uh, okay. <laughs> and these these are oh, bodies yeah. with the skulls, right? Oh yeah. Um. These are um dragon cultists that he killed. <laughs> hmm. That that Mortlock killed, or that the other two hooded figures killed? Mortlock killed him. Um, you can tell by his very large hammer and the nature of their bastion skulls. Can I motion Vendetta and Clem to go behind me so that they're more hidden? Yeah. Mm -hmm. Great. Is, is, is seeing the dragon cultist, is Nebula doing anything? <laughs> they might have come for the treasure. But they yeah, failed. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> I, I told Faz you they would was come. Anti, Vaz is anti-dragon cultist. Vaz is whoever pays him. And my family must have paid him. Oh, sorry. Wrong voice, but you get it. It's the more luck. Yeah. So what, Vaz was just taking advantage of these dragon cultists infiltrating to, to strike you when you were weak? Yes, as you can see, I'm, I'm still weakened and... I haven't got a chance to get a blow on them yet. Do you want our help patching up your wounds? Yes, if you can. And then Looking I should Apple. leave. Yeah, that's what I, said. <laughs> I, I I'm offering to step forward and help him if you would like me to. Monty. Morty. Apple? You gotta tell me about Gargoth. You gotta tell me about Zeriel. You gotta tell me about what's happening here. I can't help you. We can't help you. Oh, what help am dark. I? I'm just the dumb one. I'm the one they use. The one they what burn. What do you know? <sighs> Nothing of worth, apparently. I keep getting closer, but not close enough to get a hammer. Mm -hmm. <laughs> okay, so at this point, I do see a token off into the distance. Do they see me? Yeah. Uh, no, they 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 do see you, but they're on edge. Um, and that is the one, the prisoner that you handed over. That's the prisoner we handed over. The the dragon cultist prisoner. No, the uh, night blade that you guys handed over. Oh. We had a you night blade. Yep. But the but the flower. Did the flower not detect night blades? Yes. No. Yeah, yes. We knew it was a night blade. We knew we knew that it was a bang cultist. Yeah, we blade. had a. Bang you see him. Um, as soon as he sees you, he like hi tries to hide, tries to go away from the light. You saw him duck um in this direction. Mm. So confused. Yeah. <laughs> do you do you know anything about the Chult ambassador and the Barb and an assassin? Yes, the the thing you gave me. They're going to try and assassinate the portiers today. Today, not last month. Ooh. Oh, today. <clears throat> just, yeah, just, 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 just a um, quick point of order. I don't think that I actually gave him the. Uh, I thought you did. I thought that was part of the arrangement. Prophecy. No, yeah. Oh, well, I was going let's to go meet back him today. Then. Sorry. To, uh, to give that to him and get a bunch more money from him in the manner. That's <laughs> The meeting was right. That's um, right. That's right. That's right. All right. Sorry. We, we decided against that after I I died and wanted to make smarter choices. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> okay. Rewind. Um. Uh. Yes. I I believe that mother is making a move on them today. We we should go try to stop that. Yeah. Where, where is it happening? Do you know? No, only Vaz would know. 
I'm not trusted with such information. I just information. used my last attack thoughts. Is, well, okay, is Vaz your could... brother? No. They're okay. swelling. I'm Emric. I, I do look at Pavel. We do know where it is. Is he trying just to see if Mortlock knows? No, I didn't realize that we knew where it was. I'm sorry. Yeah, we, we know. Yeah. It. Okay. Um, is that uh, it's like a monument in the beloved ranger in the wide? Is is that happening like now, or do we have time to like finish up here? Uh, this evening, I think. Oh, we got time. Okay, 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 okay. <laughs> yeah. When also, Vaz and his assassin are the one doing it, and they're in the next room, right? So we should just like go talk to them. Are they listening yeah. to us? Like they're probably just, like they're right there, right? They're just like hiding and listening. Yeah. I owe you my life. Please come with me to kill these fools. They think they could take me. Oh. Yeah. Can I? insight again something he said before when he mm -hmm. said i don't know anything i'm the dumb one they don't trust me with anything sure yeah i'm not good at this <laughs> <laughs> that's why i need to mm -hmm. check thoughts <laughs> no, no. yeah it seemed honest or at least at face okay. value what you, you you can pavel can make his own decision about it but... all right pavel is gonna like step forward Marty, you old teddy bear, and I like I put out my my <laughs> hand to help him get up. He uh, takes his hand and he's extremely heavy. Make an athletics check. For me. <laughs> he just topples over. Uh, nineteen. Yeah, yeah. You you were shaking a bit as um, he pulls up on you, um, and uh, you see he is still bleeding from like his midsection and his legs a little bit, um, and his shoulder. Um, but he lifts up his big old uh, hammer and puts it on his shoulder. Let's go bash some cultists. <laughs> yeah, I knew I liked you, Pavel. I see Spinch is typing. Oh, I was just, yeah, I was just motioning okay. for Vendetta and Clem to stay hidden where they are. Okay, great. All right, so they will stay hidden. Um, you can tell Vendetta is a lot more hidden than uh, Clem, <laughs> but uh, they're hidden enough. Mm -hmm. Okay. Uh, this is a watery area so it is considered to be difficult terrain um but you see him sloshing through the area are there any weapons on the dead dragon yeah cars? let me see what they were carrying so they had leather armor and scimitars oh okay um i'll take two scimitars and i'll i'll try to stealth this like slide a hand two scimitars and like stealth hand them over to uh Clem and Vendetta or like chuck them over mm -hmm. there. Yeah. Yeah, they they grab them um up right. and just so they have some hold them. Um yeah. they don't appear to be holding them with any combat expertise. Sure. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Mortlock continues charging forward. He looks back at you all to see if you're following. So just confused, but we'll follow whatever. Yeah, Pavel is really kind of following. Pavel. Pavel, yeah, Pavel is uh, yeah, you know, Pavel, Pavel hangs back, but he's you know he's, he's okay. into the breach as as a wizard. Okay, <laughs> yeah. <laughs> All right, he climbs the stairs. I'm also going to hang back and let one of our front liners. Oh, okay. Pass yeah. Mm -hmm. one. I guess. Yeah, uh, yeah I guess I'll, I'll. Yeah, you go first, and I'll go behind you, <laughs> and I'll follow. They must be hiding. Okay, well, we will find them, and Spidge will start searching. What do I see over here? Yeah. A rat. 
<clears throat> you see a bunch of rats. Um, so let's describe this room for you. Um, so you see um, all the torches have been snuffed out, and actually smoke um, is coming from them, so you can tell it was right, mm -hmm. just happened. Um, and then you see three statues. Um, the center statue is a man um, whose face is hidden behind a giant helmet. Um, he's painted red except for his right gauntlet, which is black. Clutched in the gauntlet is a blood red spear pointed upward. The statue to the north depicts a purple garbed male noble wearing a harlequin mask and holding a dagger behind his back. And the statue to the south portrays a black robed skeleton with its jaw opened wide and its bony hands outstretched. Is that the the Bane and Merkel and, and the mm -hmm. third one? Okay. Yeah. Mm -hmm. I I wanna really quickly uh ask Nebula, um hey, is there like any secret dragon cult like password? that we can use to, if there are any more cultists around this corner that I can say, and then they'll be on our side instead of, instead of Vaz's side? Well, usually I would just show them my tattoos and they would be cool with it. That's why I keep telling you how to get the tattoos. <laughs> okay. Um, I don't... There's no better commitment to something than a tattoo. Okay. Are we gonna kill those guys? We need to kill them. I'm going to. <laughs> I don't think I have time for this as everyone's running in. But I want a minor conjuration, like just a, a piece of charcoal. <laughs> and on the back of my like, hand, just like draw a little dragon. <laughs> oh my god. Uh... Dragon in there? <laughs> yeah, alright, do a sleight of hand. Let's see how quickly okay. and how good looking this dragon <laughs> Inspiration, here we go. All right. Do it. <laughs> Make it happen. Yeah. Nice. Nice. Yeah, it's actually a very nice looking dragon um on your hand. Uh it is charcoal, so it would wash off, but it is on Yeah, there. yeah, yeah. 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 <laughs> Holding it up above. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> All right. Mortlock begins going up this way. Um and just swinging his hammer around. Come on out now. Perception check. Sure. Is it weird? Because I'm certain I saw them hide this way. Mm-hmm. It appears to be a Yeah, end. you can make a perception with advantage because you, you caught a glimpse of them before. I guess eh, I'm swinging wildly out. too. I'm fine. <laughs> <a lot>. Yeah. <laughs> Um, as you step there, um, stop moving for a second. As, oh, okay. Um, someone does come out of the shadows. Um, and, uh, takes a stab at you. Um, for 22 to hit... For nine piercing damage. You see Spinch wildly swinging, and then all of a sudden he flops to the ground. And there is this watery room? Uh, no, this part is raised up. We went up some okay. stairs. Yep. <clears throat> okay, so he just falls to the ground. Um, and then you see him immediately open his eyes wide using. Mm -hmm. Oh, shoot. No, uh, I don't have a relentless yeah, okay. endurance. Is it long yeah, okay. rest? I already used it. Uh, um, yeah, so he just falls to the ground. Okay. Oh, no. Oh, no. <laughs> there you are. I don't even are. think there's a sound because it was so quick. Was, was, I didn't catch the damage. Was that a lot or was Finch just really close to dead? He was close to dead. He had eight yeah. points. Did you not rest at all during your long rest? Or the no, rest? I rested earlier. And had to use all of my hit points because last time oh. I was so low. Mm -hmm. Yeah. So the second short rest, I couldn't do anything. But you, you look really bad, it? and so Spinch didn't say anything about him not feeling good. <laughs> Aww. Oh, <no. laughs> okay, go ahead and roll initiative, everyone, and then we'll take a quick five minute break before the big battle. Hmm. The 
Ooh. Five minutes. Okay. I will be back. Yep. Go ahead. Okay.
attacked. I don't know if he understands why he was attacked. Okay, well, we'll figure it out. But but we do think that like Mortlock was surprised by it, at least thought he was on the same side as Vaz and Jim. Yeah, yeah. Because Vaz isn't one of the brothers. Correct. Do you think Vaz, like, that seemed a lot like his room. Do you think he also slept inside the blood coffin? I think that was his girlfriend. Ooh. Well, it's probably good we killed him. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> he would have been very upset if we left him alive instead of Jim. Because, like, he clearly was, like, keeping, like, personal belongings in the room. But. I don't know, maybe not. I mean, what? Do you know what's over here? Did we look? Oh, just rats, right? Okay. Uh, yeah, there's also a bunch of crates. <laughs> and crates? Oh. Yep. No, no enemies, so... but yeah. There's um nine wooden crates scattered throughout the room with a bunch of rats scurrying around. Okay. Well, uh it sounds like it's it's crowbar time, Camilla. <laughs> <laughs> okay, can you cut Jimmy a new crowbar? Uh <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I, I just like uh reach into my sleeve and, <laughs> and pull out a crowbar. <laughs> <laughs> like a magician, I love it. I'm gonna, I'm gonna, I'm gonna let a shadow go after whatever rat she wants. Oh yeah, she she's able to kill all of them with if you give her like five minutes. So. Okay, that's a little gross. She takes five uh, minutes because she's toying with them, right? Yes, of course. <laughs> she just, just like yeah. knocks into oh, a crate and just like that. moving a crate out of the way and like. Let's never do direct kills. No. <laughs> no. This is really sad in real life. <laughs> yeah, it is. <laughs> yeah. Um, yeah, I'll I'll just go and open the crates. What? what okay. Is, is a door? Is a door here? Um. Yes, that's a door there. Um. What you passed there was like a curtain. Um. And then you get into this room. Um. All right. So you go through the crates. Um. We'll say it takes you ten minutes to get them all open. Um. Six of them are empty except for packing straw. Um, the other three have some goods in them. Um, one is, uh, a bunch of rations. Um, one's a bunch of caltrops. One is a bunch of alchemist file, uh, alchemist fire, sorry. Uh, some manacles, some tinder boxes, and daggers, and some potions. Potions. Um, I'm obviously like sharing with the group as like as I break them open. So I'm how many them. how many pairs of manacles is it just one? I'm putting it in the chat for y'all. Okay. Six oh, that's sets, fantastic. Six sets of manacles. Okay. Thank you. Do they have, do they have their keys? Important <laughs> question. Do they yes, they do keys? have their keys. Oh. Yeah, the keys are in the the manacle at the time. I mostly know what a caltrop is, but is it? It's what, what's a caltrop? It's like a spiky ball bearing. Yeah, it's kind of yeah. like a slow down yeah. trap. Um, it's like, in the like, guide. Yeah. Pressure plates and yeah. stuff. Like yeah. Yeah. Four potions of healing. Right, do we each want to take a potion of healing? Yeah, I think that's probably that's the best idea. call. Everyone who's important to make a potion of healing. <laughs> Vendetta and Flame loud. look really disappointed. Yeah, right. <laughs> I do not say that loud. Just, just silently handed over to. Uh, Nebula says you should take two. Pavel. Oh, Nebula wants one too. I'm, I'm so scared. Nebula, she can take it with her hands if she wants. Okay, yeah. Oh, that's <laughs> mean, Vin. That's very wow. mean. Wow. <laughs> um, no, it's, it's True. okay, I don't Nebula. think Vin would say that. That's what I want to say. <laughs> <laughs> it's okay. It's okay, Nebula. <laughs> we, can, we can just have one. Why do, you, why do you want me to have two, Nebula? Because you, you take care of me and you need to stay alive. Yes, well, my friends will keep me alive with uh, when they use their potions to save me. Thank you. It's fine. You can't trust them. We don't like TMI. Whoa, whoa, like... whoa. Out of character, Spinch was gabbing up a storm with That's her. That's true. <laughs> <laughs> Maybe <laughs> trust that guy. <laughs> Anyone else want these 
crocodile traps? I might take them if no one else wants them. Yeah, you can take some. I definitely want some daggers. And what is alchemist fire? It's a little vial that you can throw and it it um, explodes in a like a, oh, it's like a little explodes. mini bomb. Oh, it's like yeah. Your, gotcha. Yeah. Okay. Okay. Cool. 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 I'll take a tinder box. Five extra. Is is Finch taking the alchemist fire? Uh, maybe not all three, but if you, I guess I could take one. Yeah. While they're all like digging through the uh the stuff, can mm -hmm. I redo a detect magic ritual? Yes. Okay. I'll take one of the alchemist fire. Okay. I guess I will too. All right. Or how many are there? There were three. Yeah. I feel like Pavel. Makes... I feel like not... Pavel should have one over me. But <laughs> really though, but Pavel with the fire. Oh, you know what? You're right. <laughs> fire, I, I, yeah. now... <laughs> I will offer it to Pavel. I don't know if he will accept it. <laughs> I like. Is it obvious what it is? Um. Did you already do your detect thoughts? Uh yeah, that was. My last one. Actually, it's not magical. Let me see. Yeah. Oh, my detect magic. Yeah. Yeah, detect ma yeah, that's... magic. I mean, that, that that probably finishes when they're done. I'm guessing. I don't know. I'm taking. It's actually a natural thing. Um, it's like a sticky fluid that um ignites when it's exposed to air. Um, so I, uh, I think with your intelligence and your living in a big city, you would have seen these before in shops. Okay. Uh, he's sort of, like, cautious and, like, trepid... Trip, I don't know what the word is. Trepidatious? Trepidatious. Trepidatious. Yeah, so. <laughs> uh, -huh. uh, he says, yeah, you know, you, you can just, you can just keep those. An improvised weapon. Target takes 1d4 fire damage. At the start of each of its turns. <laughs> yeah, these are pretty valuable, pretty bit valuable loot, but there is no crown here. There's no what here? The Tiamat's crown, the treasure. The crown, oh. the treasure, yeah. yeah. Mm -hmm. Nebula so tells you to keep looking. Is there an Iron, um, what was it? Like, it was on, like, a bolt or something? Mm-hmm. In the letter? Not in the crates, no. Maybe, uh, maybe with, uh, Nebula's <laughs> urging, I investigate? I mean, I just mm -hmm. going around, um, this room with the, I guess just everywhere, both of these rooms, like, maybe there's something with the statues as well that we haven't looked at. Sure. Um, yeah. So I'm just going to go everywhere and investigate everywhere. Okay. 13. 13. Um, yes, you do find the iron spike on Vaz. Um, it appears to be coated in some sort of liquid. Um, and then um, you see that uh, he had... Let me just double check what else. So the iron barb, the assassin yes. mm -hmm. assassination tool. Yes. Oh, that's awesome. Oh my mm -hmm. gosh. Okay. Um, it's not magical in any way. Um, it's all just natural killing device. Um, and then, let me see. Is anything? Because I'm looking at magic too. Um, the statue of Bane has some sort of aura on it um, that seems commanding. Um, the uh let me see uh the statue of merkel also seems to have some sort of dark magic on it Uh, other than that, uh, Vaz was not carrying anything um, besides the barb. Um, he had two daggers and his long black cloak. 
that Baz was carrying the barb? Yes. Yes. He was carrying the barb in the shape you heard me earlier. Yeah. I'm so sorry. Yep. No worries. And then if you search sorry. this room, there's nothing yeah. new here. Nothing okay. magical besides the potions of healing and some things your friends are carrying. Okay. Um, we should manacle some people while they're unconscious, right? Like, mm -hmm. like Jim. Mm -hmm. It's a good call. Yeah, we can put we can put manacles on Jim. Okay. Um, what, what, Pavel? What do you want to do with Mortlock? I mean, is he like a good friend? Is he like a stabby friend? I mean, Mortlock is. I mean, I'm really, I'm really relieved that he's being attacked. Um, <laughs> like, no, he, he he really helped me out, and it kind of tore me up that he w seemed like he was a bad guy. But now I I believe him when he says he doesn't really know what's going on. I think he was just manipulated, and now I I hope that he's going to break away and uh, and be, be okay. Okay. All right. Well, do we want to go through this last door here, I guess? Well, there's still a lot that we passed, too, to backtrack through, but... Okay. Well, yeah, we can go back and check those out, too. Yeah. Okay. What'd I'll you get like it, to do? I guess. All right. I'll, I'll open the door. Uh, uh, it goes to yeah. It goes to an area yeah. with um, another crate. Uh, the crate is open, actually. Um, it appears to be um, mostly empty. Um, the bottom of the crate just has uh, five torches in it. Neat. I'll take the torches. There you go. Do, um, do any of the crates have, like, false bottoms or anything on them? Yeah, make an investigation. I'm not great at that. Uh, <laughs> investigation. Yeah, no longer right. game, so I'll take uh, it. Oh, okay. 14. Um, let's double check. Nope, nothing like that. It's just straw. A bunch of straw. You, d you dig through a bunch of straw and just find more straw. Mm. Uh, you seem sh Shadow seems very content with her her meal. Is it weird there are mice in here, or is it just because it's like a crate room in an underground place? Yeah, Not that's weird. it. There's all those rations here. Um, you saw that they they had some of the rations that they were nibbling on. Thank you. <laughs> What the rest do you think? Yeah, I think he's I don't, pretty quiet in the corner. He's just recovering. Yeah, I think uh, I think we're mostly okay. I mean, I don't I don't see anything else. Unless we want to like figure out something with the statues over here. Yeah, I mean, there's there's magic on the statues, but I I get the sense that it's probably just a bad idea to mess with them. Um, I mean, I mean but I feel like the crate, like the, if the crown is somewhere behind here, we probably need to find that before someone else comes back for it. Do we think it's behind here? There was like another another room, um, like another stairway from you know the the chamber just down south down here. There was another room. Another there was also stairs. before we came into this area, there was another way to go that way. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Well, I think that just, uh, I think I, I found that end, because this just wraps around going into walls. No, no, but like, but like back here in like this, this room that was like, like flooded that we came in from, where uh -huh. like there was a torches, there was another way to go down Oh, this you're right. Way. Yeah, yeah, We can go down that way. I didn't, I didn't see that. Mm -hmm. No, I mean, we didn't try doing that. Do we need to, is, it, 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 is anyone going to do well with the rest right now? <laughs> I no cannot benefit. gain any benefit. I cannot gain any benefit from a rest. 
Can I can I search these uh, dragon cultists? Mm -hmm. Yeah. Um, mm. Yeah, they have uh, dragon cultist helms. Um, they have uh, scimitars, which two have been taken, uh, and then they have. I what arm what type of armor they wear. One sec. If we do uh, leather take armor. time, I can maybe identify on the statues to figure out what they do. Sure. I mean, I'm looking at this room and it appears to be a dead end, so maybe we can look at that while you identify the statues. Yeah. Okay. Looking at this room. Mm -hmm. You see four padlocked wooden chests. There are four padlocked wooden chests over here. Who cares? Okay, that, that's good. Crowbar round round two? Yeah, mm -hmm. let's go back get the crowbar. I, I'm still holding it from before. Yeah, probably. you still have it. It lasts an hour. Okay. Um, I would like to try to check them for traps and then see if I can't open up the four padlock, padlocked wooden chests. Okay. Go ahead and roll a uh, investigation check. Can I say I'm helping her with that? Sure. Roll advantage. Do you want to just roll independently, or you want to give me a roll? Oh, yeah, that's, no, that's true. My investigation is a zero, so no. I would love for you to roll. <laughs> well, that <laughs> helped so much. That uh, helped. They just look like some chests with locks. Mm -hmm. I'm going to go for the first one. Okay. Try to All right. pry it open. Uh, then are you helping with this, too? Uh, I don't think I'm helping with this, but I'm probably definitely near enough that, like, you know, okay. let's say this chest contained an explosive. I'm definitely getting hit with it. So, okay. all right, roll. Uh, uh, you have a crowbar, so you do get advantage um, for athletics. Okay. <laughs> athletics advantage. Okay. Mm -hmm. Wow. Hey. Yeah, the chest click, it pops open, um, and you see a bunch of copper, um, some vials with gold stoppers, um, and some sort of potion in them. And then, uh, yeah, that's it. Just a bunch of copper and these two vials with gold stoppers. Copper coins? Yep. Mm -hmm. I, um, look at the vials. How, how many vials? Two. I'll take the two vials and I'll take them back to Pavel. Oh, wait, I'll put in my pocket to take back to Pavel. <laughs> but, mm -hmm. all right, so two... Vials with gold stoppers. Mm -hmm. I'll start dividing just... the copper coins into four equal piles. So heavy, though. The copper. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. <laughs> yeah. Okay. I'll try the next chess. Let's see. Athletics again at advantage. Hey. Nice. Oh, yeah. Nice. Another simple click click and it's open. Um you see um Agat I, I don't know how to say this jewel. It's like agate or agate or agate. 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 Um you see ten agates uh scattered amid a bunch of silver. This this seems like the denominations are going up. Um <laughs> Uh, sure. They're, I guess like uh, semi-precious stones, right? They might be worth something. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Okay. So there's um, ten of those. Um, I'll, I'll ask if Finn if he wants like divide those up too. Yeah. I'll go on oh. to the next chest. I'm imagining Vin is like those coin counter machines right now. <laughs> yeah. yeah, that's what it basically is. <laughs> Except just, Vin just is making a loud screeching noise with his mouth <laughs> as he's counting. <laughs> Ooh, I'm um, sorry. That's from the previous. I'm just writing it down because so we can have a tracker. <laughs> awesome. Okay. Awesome. Yep. All right. All right. Uh, red. Chest vials. three. Okay. Uh, chest number three. Athletics. Seventeen. Okay. Yeah, you're able to pop that open. Um, you see a dragon mask made out of porcelain, resting on a bed of copper and silver. What type of dragon. Uh, it's like porcelain, white, white. so it's white, yeah. Mm -hmm. It's not painted. And so what was it sitting on? Uh, a mixture of copper and silver. 
It's a lot. That is a lot. Um, we'll leave it there for a second. I'll go and unlock the last one. Try to. Yep, yeah, I'll have this Put the dragon mask in chat. And then, um, yes, so this one has a bronze crown with fire spires. <gasps> Yay! Yay! Each spire is shaped and painted to resemble one of the five kinds of chromatic dragon, black, blue, green, red, and white. It's been carefully packed in padding. Um, and there is another hollow that appears to hold a mask in the padding, but there's no mask there. Hmm. Not not the porcelain mask, a different type of mask? Yes, yeah, a different kind, yeah. Like a dragon mask, maybe? Because they all wear masks, right? The dragon cultists do? Uh, yeah, but theirs is more like a helmet. Um, this doesn't seem to be the right shape. Okay. I, I will keep the crown padded and hopefully wrapped up. Um, okay. And show, and show Vin, and I'll help him take all of this loot back to the group. Okay. Um, unless anyone else wants it, I'm gonna keep the crowd and porcelain mask till we can get them sold. But mm -hmm. yeah, Which, I'm gonna hand the two vials to Pavel though. Mm -hmm. uh, I am working on identifying the Muftul and uh, mm -hmm. statue, and then the Bane statue. Okay. Uh, anything Spinch is doing during this time? Are you still resting? He's just tuckered out from mm -hmm. almost dying. <laughs> yeah, fair. Um, you see Vendetta really tears up her dress a little bit and like starts oh. wrapping your wounds. Uh, I just chat with Vendetta mm -hmm. and Clem uh, as I'm resting and just taking yeah. taking some time. I think I'll you... probably just ask more about them and any information mm -hmm. they might have based on what they know from the last 10 day. Um, yeah. See, you know, what else might come of this. Sure. Yeah. Yeah, they just chat with you a bit about all the rumors of how El Terrell disappeared and how all of a sudden there were these murders and the flaming fist yeah. doesn't seem capable. I'll, I'll be like, yeah. really, whenever she me mentions El Terrell, I'll be like, um, kind of excitedly telling her that I almost disappeared and oh, how, yeah. like, how crazy it was that I was out just doing my thing uh, mm -hmm. when the city just disappeared. <laughs> Yeah, and she'll tell you about all the refugees that um, has come in and how it's yeah. brought up some business, um, but also it's mm -hmm. caused a lot of turmoil and like, yeah, right. maybe like the state of affairs. Yeah, yeah. All right. Um, we'll say Pavel. Which one do you you said the Merkel one? Yes. Okay. So from the Merkel one, that one goes off, and you discover that it is, if this uh, statue were desecrated in any way. Um, you would be cursed by Merkel to not be able to be healed. Ooh, that's bad. Oh, okay. I back away slowly toward the main <laughs> statue and go again. <laughs> okay. Um, and that's a 10 minute cast? Yep. Okay, so I would say at this point, Tamilla can show up. Mm -hmm. Um, I'll I'll catch him and I'll hand him the two vials. Uh, I'm gonna them. briefly pause from my uh, identify and say, "Do not touch Merkel." <laughs> Don't touch Merkel. Gotcha. Um. Yeah. Does the do the potions look like anything? Yeah. Um. They do look like evocation magic. Okay. Um, would it be like an arcana to try to figure on that? Yeah, let's see if this is a potion you've encountered before. I'm going to say no, you haven't encountered this one before. Well, uh, I mean, maybe I can identify them. Mm -hmm. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> it's quite a, quite a line. Mm-hmm. All right, so you work on the Bane one. That's 10 minutes. Tamilla and Vin, anything you'd like to do during that time? I'm probably just helping Vin uh, divide up the, the silver and the agates and the copper and all that. Okay, um, if you want to go over the amounts of 
copper and silver. Um, you're not going to be able to count them in this time. It's thousands. What? Crazy. Oh, wow. Okay. <laughs> yeah. I'm going to It's a dragon for out... you all. <laughs> I guess I'm going to count out, like, a hundred silver, mm -hmm. then. Okay. It's only, like, ten gold. Yeah. Mm -hmm. But, uh, but that seems reasonable to carry. Yeah. I don't know. Yeah. It's actually a lot of coins. Yeah, I was supposed to say, can we, like, are the, the chests that we open mm -hmm. carryable? Yeah, um, each chest weighs 25 pounds plus the weight of the items in it, items. so... Okay. The first one is 70 pounds total, the second one's 37 pounds, um, the third one's 55 pounds, and the last one was just the, um, crown. Okay. Uh... Can you say those amounts again? It was 55, yeah. 37, and 70. Mm -hmm. Um, The second one was one that had the agates and silver, the 35 pound one. 37, yeah. So that one's the lightest one because it's silver instead of a bunch of copper. Let's maybe focus on the on the silver. Maybe not carry around the copper, but... So, I have, I have a thought. I don't know how mm -hmm. ma math math and how this works. <laughs> if we dump all of the copper, assuming that they fit, and this is mm -hmm. maybe its own problem, um, if we dump all of the copper and silver um, into one bin, uh, assuming that like the the mass doesn't weigh very much, the the stones don't weigh very much, the potions don't weigh very much, right? Um, the total weight of it would be like 112 pounds which if each of us uh take take one side of that we might just be able to just walk out with all of it right now i mean i i think we can just carry all the chests out also don't you have the unseen servant still can the unseen servant carry the chest uh i, I mean it's it's max weight that it can carry is 10 pounds but oh like, yes okay, it can help mind. carry and i mean i have even me, wimpy little Pavel, I can mm -hmm. certainly, I think, carry like 30 more pounds. So I like, I, I don't see why we can't just carry the chest out. Vendetta yeah. and Klim offer to help. Yeah. Yeah, I think between everything, I think we just carry all of the chests out mm -hmm. for the time being. Um, even if we give, mm -hmm. you know, Klim, if we, get, especially Klim, more Klim than <laughs> Vendetta, but if we give Klim five gold, the man is not going to say no to it, right? Right. <laughs> He's broke. Exactly, <laughs> He's intuited right? this. <laughs> we could, and frankly, we could pay him in copper, which is even yeah. more. <laughs> <laughs> Give mm -hmm. him the heavy, all the, all the volume. Mm -hmm. and, and yeah, exactly. But um, yeah, that's. I think that's. I think I think mm -hmm. we can get this all out right now. Uh, I don't know. Do we want to keep exploring? It kind of it probably depends on what we see with the statues, but. Well, that's uh, true. I think I think at this point we're at dead ends. We have to go back the way we came. I feel right. like we might as well go down that one last corridor that we haven't explored yet mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Um, as we kind of head back out. Okay. As your conversation um, goes, um, Pavel, your spell goes off. Um, the Bane statue... Um, let me see. Actually, uh, when you approached it, um, you felt a compulsion. Uh, make a charisma save. No. Oh. Very Apple. good. Inspiration. Yeah, oh no, I, I used I used it on my dragon tattoo. Dang it, yeah. <laughs> oh no. Oh, good. Okay. Um, <laughs> yeah. Good. Um, you you felt like your mind was being nudged, but you you couldn't figure out why. Um, and then after your spell goes off, you discover that um, it compels people to kneel before it. I, uh, I, I scoff at the statue. <laughs> <laughs> oh, Merkel is the best one. <laughs> I turn back. <laughs> yeah, the, um, the ball statue has no magic on it. Um, mm -hmm. So... I slap the bull statue. <laughs> you notice actually as you slap are you slapping its face? Yeah. The mask comes it's off. Quiet. It's <laughs> the mask is like a hinged piece and it comes off and it's his ghastly skull like visage underneath. What? 
Oh, um, I put I put the mask. <laughs> <laughs> and you see it's back covered with a harlequin mask as, as, it, as it falls like I look at the mask does it look it would have fit in the crate no it does not match the imprint by the way if I haven't said out loud to everyone else there's a missing mask okay I think this is um. a good time oh okay. wrap up anything you want to wrap up before we yeah call I, it I was night. just gonna yeah. say like anyone who wants to go explore that last corridor uh i will sit here and try to identify like the two potions in that time sure okay then you want to run with me or yeah Spinch, i'll, you I'll run, run with you real quick okay uh, and Spinch will Spinch. Uh, volunteer to guard everyone in this room <laughs> <laughs> it's a good idea Spinch. you stay there uh, with his mm -hmm. remaining four hit points. <laughs> yeah. All right. Well, I, so I technically have I hit also... points, but I also have temp, so it's, I... it's your weird. safer bet. Yeah. yeah. Well, so so Tamila hasn't taken a single hit the entire <laughs> yeah. time she's been down here. Not I've tried a few once. times too. Yeah. yeah. I think uh, usually Spinch covered for mm -hmm. Tamilla. or Ben. Like yeah. Spinch and I have mm -hmm. been trying to cover for the group. Yeah. Mm -hmm. the, ta the tanks. You did great. Tanks are gonna tank. Yeah. yeah, tanks be tanking. Mm -hmm. <laughs> well, I'm, I'm better at range. Yeah, mm -hmm. oh, exactly. so is Pavel. Yeah. What's I'd like point? to try the door. Okay, it is unlocked. You look in and you see a uh, appears to be an empty room um, flooded. But as you step into the room, you see four skeletons rise out from underneath the water. Oh, I'm gonna back right out of that. <laughs> <laughs> Close the door. <laughs> you begin to hear um, scraping on the door, and then I um, I smell any rotten eggs. Let's see. Let's see. Let's see. Um, no, um, but the skeletons aren't very smart. Um, so you you think you could maybe bar the door somehow, and it would stop them. Ben, you think there's any treasure in there? I don't know. There. Do you want to just just beat him up real quick? Sure. <laughs> sure. You know, we, probably um... <laughs> we probably won't just die to skeletons, right? Like, can you imagine? Yeah, like that would be like super. That would be bad. Uh, yeah. All right. Well, let's switch places. Switch places. Uh, I'll, okay, I'll okay. grab the door and you can move back. Um, <laughs> All right. And then I will, uh, I guess, I don't know if um, opening the door is a prepared thing or not, but uh, if if not, I'll prepare an attack for okay. the first one I see. Yeah, I'll uh, the, door. the door is, opening the door is your action. Okay. So then, you wouldn't then be able to. An attack. Yeah. Um, go ahead uh, and but... roll initiative I mean, for like, this. Just like open it close it and i'll just like let an arrow each time and you like just i don't think i can i can't i can't open close i think i can only either open or close gotcha. um on a turn but yeah I'll, I'll open the door to start the combat for sure okay all right and i can want to hold and can i release my held bow arrow yeah, um, you see um, behind the door, uh, a guy with a short sword tries to attack Vin because he was holding an action. Um, and then two guys with uh, short bows try to attack. Oh, uh, actually one is short sword, sorry. So first one's a 10. Second one okay. is a 17. Uh, the 17 will hit. Okay, so that's the short bow. Uh, six piercing. Would I be able to use my reaction for that? Yeah. Mm -hmm. Okay, then I will deflect missiles. There you go. Okay. Uh, I I six. how much damage was it? Was six. Yeah. So you're good. Six. You catch okay. it. Okay. Just just so you know, you are rolling too public for the skeleton. Oh. I don't know if that matters. Or oh, not. that's because of uh, Sally. Oh well, that's fine. Okay. Um, um, Sally. I, I do, <laughs> Let's get her out do. here. <laughs> that's fair. We should get Sally back soon. Um. I'll catch the arrow then with that. Okay. Uh, so yeah. I take no damage, and I'll I'll hand the arrow very nicely back to Tamila. <laughs> <laughs> I, will, I will. And you release yours. Yep. Yeah. Uh, what was yeah, yours? Um, Thirteen. Yeah. Was uh, that hits. 15. Yeah. Fifteen hits yeah. for eleven. Um. So yeah, you see, you actually knock the skull off of that one. It's still moving. Um. To th attack with its short sword though. 
Um, okay, so now we're actually in initiative as everyone released their held actions. Uh, so, Vin. Okay, I will just smack the one in front of me and kick okay. it. All right, I'll, I'll smack first, see if it goes down. Right. Like uh, yep. I would not have advantage, though, so it would just be a 19. Only a 19. Uh, yeah, damn. it's down. <laughs> okay, that's fair. Uh, and then I will <laughs> I'll take a step into the room here, uh -huh. and I will smack the one over in the corner over here okay with my foot uh 16 okay for four all right yeah yeah you knock some of its bones loose mm -hmm. all right and then they're gonna try and attack you back um sure okay. uh one's Ooh, a 10 no. one's a nat 20 yeah uh well only rolled <laughs> four <laughs> okay i i take no damage and i still got some temp all right and this one's gonna try his bow uh, for a six. <laughs> um, Good job, guys. <laughs> and then <yeah>. Pamela. <laughs> yep. I'm going to come forward and... Um, uh, yeah, she'll just stay here and she's going to uh, swing her longbow. Okay. Yeah, that Eight. hits. Which one? Oh, one this one's like wounded. Oh, that one. Yeah, that's right, because it's longbow. Yeah, okay. Uh, Eight damage. Nice. Okay. That's her turn. All right, back to Vin. Uh, one on the bottom. That's a miss. Yeah. Uh, still one on the bottom. Oh, that's, wow. That's, 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 that's enough to take it out. Yeah. Nice. One more kick. Uh, and I get more temporary hit points. There you uh, go. <laughs> hooray! I'm healed. All right. Uh, one short sword and one short bow. Uh, oh wow! Both, both hit. Both will hit. I'll deflect arrows. The the bow. Okay. The bow is five. Okay. I, I okay. deflected and I pass another arrow back to Tamilla. <laughs> uh, nice. Yep. And then the first one was four, though. The short sword. Uh, yeah, four. I'll take that. Okay. Tamilla. I will fire again. Mm -hmm. A 23 for 10. Yeah. <laughs> Kills that one, yeah. <laughs> All right. That's our turn. Vin. All right, last one. Uh, I'll move up to here just to mm -hmm. try to give some room for Tamila. Mm -hmm. uh, and a one and a two. That's enough. <laughs> wow. Wait, hang on. Let me double check. Oh, almost. Almost. Oh, darn. Okay. <laughs> then, I, then I'm good just there then. Okay. All right, he's going to try one last hit on you. Uh, sorry, wrong one. That hits. Sorry. It was a sword, so only a 13. Oh, okay. only a 13? Okay. Yep. Yeah. Okay, yeah, that's fine. Then 13 does miss. Yeah, all right. Tamila. All right. She is going to use one of her real arrows. Yeah. 21. Yeah, now you killed it. <laughs> Hooray. That's all the, the bones in splash into the water. Yeah. Um. Yeah, do an investigation check. I'll help them. Mm -hmm. oh, I'll help roll me. separate. Okay. I'll roll separate. Yeah. Yeah. Okay, okay, I'll roll separately too. Then. Mm -hmm. He should have helped you. <laughs> no. That was the curse. <laughs> no, the curse. You just find the, really their bones cursed. under the water. Um, it seems like there's another like they were gonna start a tunnel here, but they didn't finish it. Um, but nothing. The of skeletons interest. were. No, like the the people that run the dungeon, the gotcha. the cultists. Mm. All right. Well, let's let's see what Pavel did. I guess. Okay. Yep. Pavel. I'm glad you guys uh, didn't die in there. <laughs> <laughs> that would have been hilarious. I don't want to alarm anyone, but yeah. if I had 17 hit, there was a good chance I was going down. So. <laughs> oh gosh. I j just so you know, if I ever like go unconscious, I can start moving a shadow around, and she can start biting things. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. So yeah, maybe. Okay, um, these are potions of fire breath. Oh, okay. Pavel is very like, he puts them down. <laughs> That's why I was like, I don't think Pavel knows this one. <laughs> and he didn't and roll especially he, high. Like, walks over here. <laughs> <laughs> what is it, Pavel? What'd you find? Um, fire. More, more fire. Uh, fire, fire, fire breath. Um, yeah, so I mean, I, 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 literally anyone other than me should, should have this. You think it'd work with Shadow? 
Yeah. Oh, that'd be cool. Mm -hmm. that'd be so that would cool. be really cool. I'll take one. <laughs> Who wants <laughs> the other? <laughs> Who wants the other one? Uh, it should probably either be Vin or I if we're up close and personal with. Yeah. I, uh, how about you? How about you take this one, Spinch? Um. Okay. Maybe if we don't use it for battle, I could use it to make some filet mignon. I thought about <laughs> that. You could kind of cook with it, probably. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Mm -hmm. <laughs> you do like one of those cool chef shows. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Guys, next. Our enemy should be something tasty. <laughs> then two birds with one stone. <laughs> this week we're fighting myconoids because we want toasted uh, mushrooms. Yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> All right. Uh, well, that's it for tonight. Then thanks so much. Thank, Thank you. you.